I forgot to put on a song. Hello? Hello? Hello, chat? Hello, hello? 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 How's it going, chat? Ow! Sorry, I had to do an Instagram story. I forgot. And I did not want to inundate you with doing it on stream. Tim, can you change the thumbnail picture to something relevant? Because I just reused it. I got lazy today. Actually on time, I'm five minutes late, but I respect you giving me that. You tell me that now? Oh, okay, Tim, a little bit of lip today. Take your time. It's not like there's a rush. I'm just asking. Nice plug to your Instagram, bro. It's not even a plug. I'm just telling you what I was doing. Everybody relax today. A lot of hostility to start us off. Can you send a nice personal message when the Ludlock starts to me? Thank you in advance. No, Mac. I can't. I don't have your information. I don't have your contact information. Sure looks good. Yeah, this is the part of the stream where I, I'll, I'll t I tell you where to get this. Hashtag ad, to be fair. But... If you like what I'm wearing, you know how Team Liquid, every like six months, eight months or so, uh, they do a new drop? Uh, well, it's that time again. They got a new drop. So anyway, if you guys want to be a part of that drop and you want some of the stuff from the drop, you can get it. All you got to do is go to tl.gg slash lud. tl.gg slash lud. They got a keyboard. They got a keyboard? The hell? They didn't tell me. They didn't send me this shit. I think the pants are the good thing. They're actually way lighter. The last pair of pants they dropped were super heavy. I'm wearing this guy right now. The Uchiha Anorak. I'm not a wee, by the way, chat. They just gave this to me for free, and they asked me to wear it because they think I'm a good model. And then use none of my modeling picks for the website. Artisan keycap. $50? That's a deal. <laughs> that is a deal. Ooh, a soccer and knit sweater. That's actually, that's actually kind of a fire keycap. That's actually a fire keycap. Uh, what's the site? TL.GG slash LUD. If mods can blow it up in the goddamn. Jam, thank you the 10 months. You own a weeb site. I don't even know what you're saying to me. 60% discount code? I don't know if... Do, do you get a discount code if you go with the LUD? I don't think there's a discount. I don't know if I have a discount code. Please leak Game Jam stream dates. I think we're waiting uh, for a couple more of our judges to solidify before we have that. Ever since the 7TV update, I don't have the YouTube theater. Maybe just uninstall 7TV. Or we'll figure it out. Maybe I can forward it to Austin. I was just watching you drunk drive. You suck at making U-turns. Okay, that's all right. But I was getting that to my destination, was I not? All right. As far as drunk drivers goes, I feel like I was doing a good job. I'm not one of the drunk crashers. I'm a hero. Hope you're doing great, Crystal. My name's Ludwig, but thank you, Bruno. Chat, what are we doing today on stream? I have to stream six hours, not because I have to hit my hours, but purely for the love of the game. I figure we do a bit of Ludlock. Maybe some jet lag. Probably jet lag after Ludlock. I feel like we should try to get the 7th and 8th gym done in the Ludlock first. Then do jet lag, maybe? It's still pretty early. It's only like 5. Have you seen the new Nico and Gideon content? I have seen it, but I did not watch it all the way through. Watch the new OTV video. I'm 27. And I love the OTV people, and I love the OTV content, but I don't think I react well to that. I'm not a good reactor for that type of content. I just don't think I, I don't think it's in me. I'm, I believe it's funny. I don't mean to say I'm 27 in that it is all for children. I mean to say I don't know how to... I react to boomer-ass content. I stopped reacting to TikTok in the button. I react to fine art now. New Yard was A tier. Appreciate it. 
You should postpone this so that I can finish the last video. I will be here still. There's no rush for you. How do you feel about JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown album? <laughs> good. I feel good about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel good about it, though. Are you streaming early because you need to hit your hours before midnight? No! It's for the love of the game, baby! It's also not even that early. It's like 5 p.m. Isn't reacting to adult content what Aiden is doing? I don't know, man. I'm not going to kick. Have you heard the whole dark and darker situation? Yeah, I watched a Charlie video. My only source of news. Moist critical. Why is the thumbnail Jackbox? Because I got lazy and I didn't want to make a thumbnail and I asked Shake Drizzle to make one. All right, let me tag the entirety of my Discord. Let them know I'm live on YouTube.com slash Ludwig. Any mogul mails coming up? I had an idea for one and then I forgot it. So then I didn't make it. But I usually only make one if I'm in, if I'm inspired. How long will this merch be available for? I imagine till they sell out. They've sold out of every one though. Blood, I have to do a speech for class. What should I do it on? Someone got an A-plus speech in my speech class on how to gamify the perfect Chipotle order. And it involved asking for, like, like a cheese tortilla. They called it, like, a cheese a or some shit. I forget what it was. But they got an A-plus. So I don't think it has to be that deep. I would do something not heavy. Sometimes people go to a speech class and they boot up and they're like, my dad died when I was 10 years old. And it's like, damn, dude, chill. We get it. But, you know, it's a class assignment. I'm live. Hello. Come watch. Oh, you know what we should do today? At some point, we should react to the new Jay Schlatt arguing video. Maybe we watch that today. In addition to jet lag. I don't know if you guys saw that. But I already watched it. But Possumithic, I'll add commentary. I'll add insightful and delightful commentary. It was actually edited super well. Oh, uh, well. You lost the first two? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You lost the first two and your swarms of fans are pushing you over the edge undeservedly. In what universe, sirs? In what universe, sirs? No offense, all right? I, I, look, I know you're a pea brain on the Pokemon battlefield. I've seen that. In what universe do I have more fans than Jay Schlott? Just answer that for me. Simple question. You think I have more fans than Jay Schlott? That's your take right now? You're saying I'm more popular than Schlott, who sneezes on Twitter.com and gets 100,000 likes. Really? You're deaf prettier. Okay, that's unnecessary to say, but <laughs> thank you so much. Did you watch the Trash Chase with Hassan? Yeah. Yeah, I watched him talk about how One Piece is actually leftist propaganda. And how Oda loves Che Guerrero. How's the musical coming along? I haven't done shit. Tate released Mogul Mail when? I don't feel like it's necessary to be like, hey, Tate has gone from jail to house arrest. I, I don't think I, I, I care too much about that. M80 beating G2 in the finals makes MXM the third best team. Dude, okay. So, obviously, Moist Moguls did not have the performance we wanted. We did not get the wins we wanted at, at MSI. But the two teams that beat us were the first and second placing teams. Bit of copium, but maybe that makes us the third best. Shout out to Moist Moguls. Transit of property, exactly. I'm excited for split two. Honestly, you guys liked the watch parties way more than I thought you would. I was kind of worried they'd flop, but I think a lot of people here who don't even care too much about Valo were pretty big MXM fans. And I had a call. I called every single person on the team today. Um, just sh shoot the shit, see how they're feeling. And uh, and they all were uh, saying how nice you guys were. Even in losses, they said you guys were super nice, which was uh, appreciated. So thank you guys for being cool to uh, to the Moist Moguls and the players. Ba, 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 
I've never played Valo, but I like it. I mean, shit, the way I play, it's I, I, I feel like I'm in the same spot. I look like I've never played. All right, chat, today we are going to do... Okay, extra. What the fuck is this energy you are coming in with right now? Do not type yo dumbass dumbass. You're 17. If I say this to you, I'm on some watch list. I get a felony. There's no punishment for you. There should be. Reverse felonies. I've been trying to push that for a while now. How about hello? How's your week been, buddy? I'm not 17. I'm 16. Even, even a better reason to shut your damn pie hole around me, buddy. I'm 27. I do not have to communicate with you. Legally, I should have the option to just not communicate with you, but you have forced your way into my damn life by asking for mod and begging for it, and I've given it to you, and this is how you repay me. He's a yo dumbass. What do you want? What do you want? You see SD locals weekly. Grinding. What? You've been grinding at colleges? Exer, first of all, we need to have a conversation about that. Play oh, and melee. Okay, that makes way more sense. Why are you hanging out in colleges? You, you're in San Diego? What are you doing? Wait, you're just hanging out with college? Go study algebra. Locals? Oh, they do the locals at the college. Uh, isn't it kind of weird in Melee how it's like you'll have a 16-year-old at a local and then just a 42-year-old? And they're equals. They're equals in the battlefield. Extra, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? I don't want to play you in Melee. I have proven. Don't say run the best of five chat. I have proven I'm better than Exter. Every time he comes out the woodwork, I'm not just going to give him the hands. You can't just come in a chat and be like, I'm going to beat your ass. And then ask me to play and then get your ass beat. You're afraid of big lungs? What does that mean? I'm not going to run a best of five. First of all, I'll do a best of three at most. Okay, I'm a busy man. Second of all, I don't feel like I need to prove that I, ha I, can, I can beat you. I can beat you without even trying. I'm going to smoke your dust. Stop talking like that. You're 16. You're white. You're from an affluent San Diego and family. What do you, you're, not, <laughs> you're, you're talking like you're going to mug me on the streets of London. All right? Chill. You're not better... What do I get? What do I get if I win? Best of three. What do I get? How about best of three right now, but if I win, you can never challenge me in Melee for the next year. For the next year, I do not want to hear your voice. I do not want to see your chat messages if it pertains to me versus you in Melee. Best of three. Take it or leave it. Enough said. Look at the clip. Okay, dude, he had the fucking most godlike nair on that platform. It, this is literally Armada Hungry Box circa Evo 20, whatever the hell. That was pure luck. That was pure luck. And I've beaten him literally. I, I promise you, chat. I beat him a dozen times in a row. In a row after that. One lucky rest and all of a sudden I'm, I, I'm fucking shit on the street. Just because once upon a time Remy took over his body for one up throw rest. He couldn't do it again. It wasn't on the big stage. It's my fucking stream. You can't keep calling it the big stage when it's my stream. It's not the big stage to me. It's another day in the office to me. Fine, 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 fine. Best of three. If you win, you can you can have your little comeuppance on the big stage. If you lose, you do not challenge me for the next year in any time. And I mean any fucking time you attempt to, I will bring this up and you will have to pipe down. Is that fair? Do we have an agreement? Do we have an accord? What does he get if he wins? He gets to brag. He gets to come and chat and, and, and be like, hey, dumbass. Even though he's a 16-year-old and I'm a 27-year-old man. Man! Fine, do it. Run it. Run it. I fear I fear not the child that um, chirps. I fear the man that doesn't talk. <clears throat> I'm just 
just booting it up now. Melee! Melee! Okay. And my controller doesn't work. PogChamp. One second. You should do a warm up. <laughs> I don't need to do a warm up for Exer. Guys, you have to understand I used to be one of the best Super Smash Brothers melee players in the world. Top 8s were light work for me. Once upon a time, all right? Before Exer uh, Exer roamed the earth, I was the guy. Okay? Now obviously I moved on a commentary to streaming. I got the dollar signs in the eyes, but don't don't dismiss me as a competitor. Choose your character. All right, what's your code? This is loud. Is this loud? Is it just loud for me? Hold up. It's kind of loud for me, right? Is it loud for you? Me, 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 me. Run a prediction? Run it. What the hell? Every time I swap the screen over, it does this weird bounce effect. Okay, uh, let me drop it to like... It was a little loud, right? I'm going to drop it like 56. Seems fine. Sure. I just made up a number. Extra, what's your code? What's your code? Actually, honestly, I've barely played any humans that your code might just be already built in. Pause champ. Pause champ. Oh, no. I had to go Fox, right? I literally have no one in here except for Doug Doug. Uh, what is it? What is it? What's the code? Go puff. I'm not going to do a puff ditto. I'm already resigning to losing viewers because I am playing this dog water viewership game. Beautiful game. Love it. I'm not then going to inundate you guys with a puff ditto. Respectfully. I want you to know, though, that every time I play Exer, all right, I'm not pre johnning I do have to play Fox. And I'm not a Fox main by trade. This is my this is my secondary, maybe my tertiary. Passion fruit's a really good character of mine. All right, best of three, best of three. Start it whenever. Lud learned a new word today. In a day, no, just an English major showing off my chops, my skills. Man, 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 man. All right, we we good. Taunt to taunt to start. Easy kill. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Shouldn't have missed that one. Shouldn't have missed that one. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just get cozy. I'm not even playing and you missed. Okay, okay. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Sorry, hold up. It's I I, I didn't warm up at all. You can't, you can't take that. Stop trying to take the free kills. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Stop laughing, stop laughing. We're literally one stock in. Or, I guess two. How did I lose two stocks? Not good. You are so fucking bad at the game. He's so scared. He's so scared. He's so scared. Dead! Oh, 
Nope. Whoa. This <laughs> He's so nervous. <gasps> run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Press enter, press enter, press enter, press enter, press enter, press enter, press enter. Run it back, 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 run it back. Run it back. Hit enter. Hit enter. I wasn't nervous. I I'm not fucking warm. There's a difference between nerves and warmth. Okay. No, you know what? Actually, hold up. I get to counter pick. I'm gonna counter pick. I'm allowed to play on any stage I want. Okay. Versus Jiggly Pop Ready. Go. Dude, oh, this is so fucking cringe. You are so fucking cringe. Best of five, chat. It's a best of five. If you're just tuning in, it's a best of five. It's game two. You do. No you. Don't try me. Don't try me, Exter. You are so cringe! You're so cringe! You don't have that. You don't have that in you. You don't do it like I do it! Oh my god. You are so lame. 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 Don't say it. no. Are you calling me? Yeah. What? 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 I think it's they think it's the industrial revolution how much smoke just came out of that match. Dude. What the fuck? It's, bro, Nobody thinks up. this is the head. industrial revolution. Nobody thinks that. You got fucked. You're trash. You're actually bad. Actually, run, it back, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Double or nothing. Bro, you want double or nothing? I there was no wait. There was nothing on the line. Uh, okay. <laughs> your net worth. Your net worth versus uh, me. Uh, not saying. No. Fuck him. Fuck him. He's bad. He's bad. Don't say you got washed by a sixteen year old. Chat. I am literally better than 99.999% of people. I'm better than everybody in this chat right now. Unless there happens to be a smasher who's lurking in here. I'm better than literally every fucking one of you. That's my secondary that I played. I haven't played melee in like two months. I haven't warmed up at all today. He's been probably grinding at some UCSD local or some shit like he's been saying. I'm better than Exter. That's not my main. $100 money match. $100. Let's run it. Chat. $100. Open invite. Open invite, $100 money match. Put your tags in here. I will play anybody in chat $100 if you beat me in a best of three and, and nothing if you lose. Nothing if you lose. You guys are fucking dog shit at the game. All you like to do is chirp because you see somebody else who's a warrior for you. Give me your fucking code. Give me your code. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out who's better than who. Let's find out. I'm not salty. I'm just saying let's find out. Let's discover. Let's use a little bit of our, uh, let's use a little bit of discovery. Let's find out who's better than who. Don't give me Exter's code. I I can beat Exter if I wanted to, but I, it, it was my... First of all, I, I'm not going to do a puff ditto. You're the ones talking shit. Give me a code. Give me a code. Give me a code. Who in here wants to play? Give me a name. Give me a name. You think, you, you think you're so good. You think you're so nice. I'm not going to do a puff ditto. 
Nuav839, Marth Puff. Deal. Easy. The thing is, the thing is, you don't understand how much better my Puff is than my Fox. It, it's night and day. Is that right? N-U-A-V. All right, Nuave. $100 if you beat me. $100. Free $100. Yard topic? What do you mean yard topic? This is not going in the yard. Damn, this game came out before Exter was born and Ludwig still lost. <laughs> That's irrelevant, okay? A lot of things come out before people are born and they're still successful. You put the code in wrong? No, I didn't, did I? That's right, that's right, right? Hold on, I don't have any music. I don't have any music. It's fucking me up. Did you notice? Did you notice who's better than who? Did you happen to see the Jigglypuff? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Doesn't know what to do. What are you swinging for the fences? Nobody's there. What are you swinging for? What are you swinging at? Come on, get up. Oh, fuck. That was actually kind of smart. Okay, but damn, that was actually kind of good. Okay, chill. You don't know I have that! If it's a four stock, I don't give you game two. That's just the rule. Fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly, respect. My puff does not lose to anybody in chat, including Exer. Oh god. All they do is swing. All they do is swing. Tall hunger box about that one. Homie, I need to prove you wrong. <laughs> Buddy, get yourself a Bible and start praying. It's your best chance of beating me. Light work. Light work. I'm guessing redacted is surds. What do you mean? Oh, like people in chat. It's not a paid actor. I'm just better at the fucking game. Go again. All right, come on. <laughs> Catch up, buddy. Dude, did you know that Jigglypuff can crouch under Marth? Oh, wait, wait. I can go for a third one. I can get a third one. Chat, if I win with only rests, will you stop talking shit? Give me a little respect. I'll kill with only rests. <laughs> okay, you know what? That was actually kind of good. <laughs> I won't lie, that was actually kind of good. That was like <laughs> we call that fear factor where I'm from. Lucky. Check this one out, though. That was unlucky trade. Yes, yeah, sir! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of where I'm from. 
Dude, I move with Puff in ways Hungry Box. Okay, slight misclick. Yeah, but I get a second shot. All right, there we go. GG. Who else wants smoke? Any smoke wanters? G give me somebody good. Give me somebody with a little bit of skill here. No, we can't play an ultimate. Don't, you can't switch the game up on me. This is a melee only taking all challengers. Zero loads refused 1v1. Don't say type racer. No, I don't care if it's not this game, but Valo, you were talking shit on me in this game. You won't do her 44. Nathan Pauzu, $100. $100 if you beat me in a best of three. Wait, where'd it go? I lost your name. I won't lie, Nathan. I did lose your name. Doer44. Four four. All right, give me it. Oh, you know what, actually? Uh, I'm actually a little busy. Fuck. Holy shit. Look at the time. We should probably stop doing this. Dude, young links are so cringe. <laughs> Tell me if you're going to be playing a cringy-ass character like Young Link, dude. And did you pick Dreamland? Really? You picked Dreamland on me? I'm not terrified. I'm not even slightly nervous. It's just, it happens to be like somewhat of an advantageous matchup for Young Link, and it's pretty fucking cringe. I'll, I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. I, you think I give a shit? Look at me. Look at me. Zero concern. We're going to go to a neutral stage, though. Versus Respectfully. Young Link. I'm not quivering. There's zero quivers in my body. It's lagging. It's lagging. Uh, you know what? Actually, the ping's too bad. We should stop. It actually, is pretty bad. Hold up. I'm not even memeing. It's like literally. You see in this chat? Look at the top left. 100 ping. I want you to know I would have rested that on 40 ping. Dude, th this is actually ping gap. Okay, we're doing a best of one. Respectfully, we're doing a best of one because the ping's so bad. But I'll still pay out $100 if I lose. But I don't want to play you in two more games. No, even if I lose, I'll pay out instantly. It's just so bad. I'm just naturally gifted. Fair. It spiked to 400. I literally saw the ping at 400. I didn't even know you could down throw rest young Link. I, I'm, I'm not even going to meme. I, I'm actually pretty sure that's not even legal. All right, let's go next. Let's go next. Come on, give me someone good. Give me somebody good at the game. Somebody streaming? Do we got? Give me fucking IBDW. All right, g give me, give me, give me Leffen. Who's live? I'm doing things in this game that people shouldn't be doing. Play Seal419? Who is this? Are they good or something? Seal419? Why is everyone spamming this? Who are the... Who, who is this person? Multiple people are spamming this name. It's Seal in chat? Is Seal good or something? Seal's an old head? All right, best of three, Seal. I hate Sheik. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. Okay. All right, chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. 
chill, 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 chill. Okay, <laughs> okay. Chill, buddy, chill. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was nervous, but now I'm feeling confident. How do you grab that? I'm tired of Sheik's thinking they're cool just because J Mook won a couple of things. He's not even that cool. I mean, like in real life, he's fucking cool. He's got good hair and shit, but Sheik's, his Sheik's not that cool. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Let me. Let's just. Let me just get my song going. I'm literally picking a song. You're so cringe. This is typical chic behavior. A little too low there, buddy. Oh! You can do two moves and I can't do one? Yes! He never sees it coming. No. That was lag. Okay, I'm good. That was actually fucking nasty as shit. Literally lag. I normally have such swift, beautiful edge cancels. Believe in yourself, Scoob. Believe in yourself. What did I get 78 damage on me? Oh my god, Sheik doesn't even have to work for anything. It's such a Nepo baby character. Oh, now you're scared. Yeah, you're predictable. I clutches. I clutches. I clutches. Please. Oh, I was going to rest you. <laughs> Dude, uh, CC down smash, like. Dude. How? Oh! Roll. Check this yellow pound out. Oh! No! Yolo! That's so unlucky! That is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. It's not minus 100. I said best of three. Give me the bow three. All right, boot it back. Boot it back. Honestly, bad stage for me. Don't even care. I make it happen. Dude, it, 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 it's so obvious that the ping is inhibiting me from force stalking this person. Seal. Okay, it's all right. Even the goats miss. Are you seeing me? Riot! Fix the game! It's just, it's just, it's diligent. It's educated. Okay, I forgot you're invincible. Low level player skip shit. What are you obsessing?
Dude, this, uh, it's actually so cringe that I'm on Yoshi's story. You, you, you. What are you grabbing at? I just spam. You just spam it. You just spam it. You're a spammer. You're a spammer. First of your name. Last of your kind. What's your punish? I'm getting 30%. Start at 19. 25. Not even. That was the most Two. fucking genius thing. Oh. He's clicked. Two. Okay. All right. <sighs> so fucking cringe. Tim, can you find that guy? We have to pay him hundred dollars. <clears throat> but I didn't get to counterpick the stage. I didn't get to counterpick the stage. Oh my god. That was cringe. I did not choke so hard. You get mad for CC when that's your identity? Your lack of understanding of Super Smash Bros. Melee is why you're so cringe. Yeah, it's my main. Okay, I got a little unlucky. It happens. Give me somebody good. Give me somebody nasty. Give me somebody that doesn't play a lame ass. Give, give me a give me a fox or falco. There's not a fox or falco in here that I don't beat. Six four matchup, by the way. Nah, that's that's. I'm nasty and play falco. Nat, not another Tyler. Are you? Are you actually nasty? Scraw one nine zero good fox. Give me someone nasty. How, how's the new TL merch? Actually, beautiful. Play just us. He's in chat. Is just us good? Give me somebody good. Doesn't play a lame ass character. All right, let's see. Let's see. Justice is insanely cracked. 
What's their name? Justice, where are you? Justice is very good. Justice will wreck you and is Tass. Who is Justice? You guys are talking him up like he's the next coming of someone who's good at melee. Me. How do you not know Justice? Are you guys, is this like a, am I, is, am I falling for a D's nuts? How does everybody in chat know who Justice is? Nobody's giving me the code for Justice. No, he's actually PR'd. Zed, do you have his 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 tag? He's beaten KJH. <clears throat> uh, looks like he's not in chat, so we're not gonna play him. <clears throat> he's not in chat, so. Uh, I would play him. I'm not scared to play him. He's the one who's not showing up. Give me the code right now. Give me the code. I'll play him right now. Just Us, previously known as GP Gamepad, is a quickly improving melee fox from Texas and is playing in over 100 tournaments in that play grinder. He has wins over two Saint, Bobby Big Balls, Ben, and Hatwa. Was two Saint in there? His tag is AF3. Is he live or something? Is he live? Why are so many people spamming me to play him? Hold up. I want to go to the Super Smash Bros. Melee category. Who do we got here? Ringler? I would fucking roll Ringler right now. Ginger, light work. Guppy, more like free. No, I don't see him live. All right. AF3. Is he here? I haven't seen Just Us type in chat. I don't know if this is actually Just Us. I went live and I'm right here. AF3. Wait, is it actually you? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll play you right now. We booting it? We playing? AF3, I put it in. I'm Lud or Coot 686. Are you PR'd in the world or like in your region? He doesn't know your code. It's on Oh, it's not on the screen. It's Coot 686. Everyone check out his channel. I don't know why I scoffed at that. Yeah, it's fine. Check out the channel. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. Good save. Okay. A little bit of nerves. Okay, he actually moves kind of fast. Okay, actually, why is he moving so fast? It's okay. I'm gonna be a four stock. If I look over at chat for one second, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta say something nice and supportive. I can't look over at chat and see something hurtful and mean. Yes, sir. And the comeback begins. Can't do that. When one of these pounds connects, it's GG. Oh, 
Okay. He's not bad. He follows up on those? Who takes on Blatt? That was nasty. Okay, fine. Last talk game. Last talk game. Game best of three though. Best of three. Let me pick the Sejo. Hey, was it a four stock? Oh my god, I hate this song. Okay. Okay. I was out for four. St well, I guess we're not winning yet. I'll stall all day. I can itch my lip so bad. Oh my god. God, his texts are so deceiving. Oh, fuck FOD. Unlucky. All right, we are at death percent. Upper upper kills us. But you know what kills him? A lot of back airs in a row. <laughs> He's swinging for the fences. He's desperate. He's so nervous! Get notches, buddy. You're on that play. Let's call it here. I'm ulted for him. We'll call it a draw. Ah, never mind. I'm losing now. No, that's okay. It's a tie game. That platform fucked me so bad. That platform fucked me so bad. It wasn't your skill as the platform. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. You're live. You could use the content. Double or nothing. Just a classy. I owe you 100 bucks. 20 gifted. We'll make it 40 gifted. All right. Let's do it. Give me the double or nothing. Give me the double or nothing, baby. It's not free money. It's not free money. Okay, it's free money. Tim, get his contact info. Oh my god, not this song again. The fucking Mickey Mouse Toon Club. Okay. Infinite money glitch playing Blood and Smash. <laughs> I can turn it up. You just wait.
I clean that up. Just night, day. Uh, you never punish this. You're never going to push this. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You pound three times, you get punished for the third. That's not bad. He's at kill percent. I cheated to stop doing damage. And I need to do damage myself. Air percentage. We're just not gonna get grabbed though. We're just not gonna get grabbed. Ooh. Grab roll, grab and roll, grab and roll. SCI! Fair enough. God, he's a quick little bastard. Fucking best edge guard conversion I've ever had in my fucking life. Clutch box. Just one rest. Give me up the rest. Give me up the rest. Give me grab. Give me grab. Give me grab. We're at kill percent. Any up throw up here kills us. Oh my god. Oh, this is terrifying. Dude, typical Fox. They whip out their lane thing at the very end. Like, the whole entire game, they're playing cool. Then all of a sudden, I'm down and they fucking lame as shit. Go run it back, 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 run it back. Run it back. Best of three, best of three, best of three. <sighs> it was a best of three. It's a best of three. <laughs> we take those. We take those. All right. Now to stall out for 7 minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> what are you going to do about that strategy, buddy? He doesn't see my beautiful pound. Yes, guy! He did that to give you a chance? We went last stock. I'm going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He just happens. It's just swinging his way. You know what I mean? That literally should have connected. It's okay. The thing is... The thing is, I'm not a Wi-Fi warrior. I'm not a net play nerd. I played back in the old days, right? We're talking 2018, 2019, right? Old school Melee. Before this whole gods bullshit. I'm used to playing on LAN. On LAN, I smoke. Dude, my hands actually hurt so bad. <laughs> Kill yourself if you're gonna side be on stage, please. It's the neat least you could do for me. In game, in game, in, my, in not in Minecraft, in Smash. Nice. I'm a fucking idiot! Oh my god! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not even. I don't even care. I actually didn't need that sock. Homie sock. That was a 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 homie sock. You're welcome. You're welcome. That was on the house, buddy. I'm just a little puff. Pound. Played on every street. Literally, I'll play it on every street. What's your punish? You know what? It's not bad. Oh, fuck. 
to me, God. Give it to me, God. Give it to me, God. <gasps> yes! Earned. Deserved. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Game 3. Game 3. 1-1. One, one. Game 3. <sighs> that was kind of flames, though. All right, come on. Don't chant. No, you guys are supposed to be on your streamer side. Don't chant for the our opponent. All right, he brought me to Pokemon. That's actually not that bad. It's better than FD, I think. Uh, actually, maybe not. Dude, if I get that kill, I just win. Okay, it's fine. I don't even care. I don't even care. My mental's so unbroken. You know what was he coming? I'm gonna pound. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. One missed rest, I what I lose? 40%? Don't even give a shit about 40%. Oh, I give a shit about 40%! Hey, if anyone can go to the stream and tell me when he plans on approaching, if it's next set or this set, like... Tim, can you get that guy's contact information, please? Fucking dog shit connection. Fucking 50,000 ping. Uh, that'd be great. You can get me that contact info. Alright. Stop fucking talking to me. Okay. Uh, great. Um... Let me play a Ringler. Let me play a Ringler. <laughs> Let me play someone... Just like a little... Little different. What's Ringler doing? Hold up. My whole shit's lagging. My computer's breaking. What's going on? Playing Lud. He had 500 viewers? Oh my god. Honestly, maybe I don't pay out. We just pay out exposure. <laughs> uh, Ringler went offline. Actually dodging me. He's actually dodging. We remember when you were good. Dude, okay. That person literally beat two saints and I beat them in a game. So do the math. By transitive property, we're as good as two saint. If you think about it. Pay him? I'll pay him. I'm not, I, first of all, I'm going to collect all the names of the people I pay and pay them at once. I'm not going to pay them individually as the stream goes because I don't want to put my stream information on the stream. I hope that makes sense, obviously. He said you are pretty good. Does he think I can make it one day? Does he think I can be the best in the world? All right, give me another one. Give me somebody to play. Ringler said he's down. Give me a Ringler. I crush Ringler. Don't say maybe a different game. Ludlock, Jedlock. Okay, mods, change your title. Mods, change your title to a hundred dollars if you can beat me. Uh, you guys are you guys are actually making me mauled. Ringler's booting up. All right, we'll play Ringler. Ringler's light work. I'm gonna play. Je I'm gonna watch jet lag. Yeah, I told you guys at the start of stream. I'm doing it later in stream though. All 
I remember this was a gaming channel. You guys, you're, you're about to watch me fly so high. Is Ringler live? Where's the stream? Where's the stream, Ringler? Ringler. Ringler SSBM. <laughs> Are you ready to oh, get wig. thrashed? <laughs> yeah, bro. Let's let's fucking see, dude. You got you got how many viewers? Well, you're used to this shit. I think I'll be okay. You'll be fine. All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Ringler's like a Donkey Kong player chat, if you don't know. All right, best of three. Hundo gifted. Hold up. Let me close out of his stream. It is ring. What is his thing? Ring one one something. Chat is on now. Ring. You got a hundred gifted? Wait, I got a hundred gifted? What are you talking about? Hondo gifted locked? He said one hundred gifted? What does he mean? No, it's a hundred dollars. No, he's not just gonna five. We're not gonna five exit out of nowhere. That's a hundred dollars if I lose. Oh, did I say a hundred gifted? Oh no, it's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. I, I misspoke. I misspoke. The match is for a hundred dollars. All right, give me Wrangler. I'm ready, baby. <sighs> scared? No, I'm not scared. I just don't want to give the money to Twitch. You know what I mean? It's actually, if anything, more economical to give dollars. Tell him my thing is Coot six eight six if he needs it. Versus. Okay, all I know about this Donkey Kong is it's competition for best in the world. He's going to spam up B. And, um... Oh, fuck. I know there's no music, but I do not have the ability to turn it on and play the game. I'm actually... If every time I talk, I think I play slightly worse. Kill, 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 kill. Dude, I don't know why my nose gets so itchy. Rest. Just kidding. My bad. Can you stop fucking jerking off? <gasps> He's actually so nasty. He's actually so nasty against Puff for no reason. Who normally ring w wins chat? Ringler or Didi? Oh. Getting owned in the public court of opinion. I don't even care. I don't even give a shit. You think I care? I'm not even. I'm not even trying yet. I'm not even trying. <laughs> this was a. This is a four fun money match. This is a four fun money match between me and my good power wrangler. No dog. <laughs> I fucking hate Xer. I fucking hate Xer. I. Tim, can you ban Xer? Alright, 
Focus, focus! Is he gonna punch me? Woo! That's how you take a stock, baby! He's so good at shielding. How is D DK's shield literally better than 90% of the cast? He has a better shield than Sheik. So hard for no reason. It's a recovery move. I'll let you back on purpose. I'm not done with you yet. Come on, come back, come back. One more time. Let's play. Fuck, you got me there. <laughs> Fuck. Still not done with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's play around the world. D DK is the best recovery in the game. DK is the best recovery in the game without a shadow of a doubt. 178 and you didn't fucking die from that. And yet you punch me, I'm at 40 HP and I die. Can we redo the tier list? <sighs> 200 damage. Close it out. <laughs> Big clap. Okay. Why does it keep making the screen noise? Spacing. YOLO! One more pound. One pound is all it takes. Okay, things are not going so good. Dude, they're shit-talking me in my Slack. They're literally shit-talking me in my Slack right now. At our company Slack, they're making fun of me for how much money I lost. Already down 300. Jesus, mother of God, why? Get in there. Free money. <laughs> not as I deserve. Not as, it de not as I deserve. I'm taking tough opponents here. I'm taking tough opponents. Scraw 190. Good chic player since 2014 named Scrandino. Salt wants to play? Well, you know. Gotta also consider the... Gotta consider the... The length, the distance of connection. Fine. I'll play salt. Salt 806. Copy.
Do for Trans Awareness Day. I believe in trans rights, and I believe in kicking trans ass in melee like I would everybody else, baby. Hey, I'll, I'll take all hands. I'll beat her ass right now. No problem. It's not the real salt. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Thank God. Holy shit. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. Oh, my God. I was so nervous. <laughs> She's actually way too good. <laughs> She's actually so good. Oh, okay. That is good for me. Uh, all right, who else we got then? Uh, J Salt. I'll play J Salt. Same code. Fine. J Salt. I that sounds familiar. J Salt. Didn't he used to do tutorials for Smash Four? No, that's J Tails. I think I'm thinking of Jay Schlatt and Jay Tails. Didn't you see that coming, did you? Okay, dude. First of all, starting Pokemon Stadium, kind of cringe. Wait, Jay Salt's top 50 in the world? What? Can I play someone who's fucking my skill level? I haven't played in three years. I'm a goddamn commentator. You goddamn broke-ass top 100 melee players. Nothing better to do. Try to farm me for 100 bucks. Get your dumb asses a sponsor. Go live once in a while. Why, why are you farming me? I'm supposed to be playing casual viewers. Fine. This started because I, I, I was playing my mod Exter. And now I have Ringler, so, someone who wins against Two Saint in J Salt. Uh, on a Friday night. Holus, nevertheless. What are you grabbing at? Why does she get to do so many moves and I get to do so few moves? So cringe. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, and I don't want to hear a word. I don't want to hear a word, chat. I do not want to hear a single word. You miss 100% of the rest you don't take. If you're gonna if you're gonna Lamau at my misses, then you better pog at my hits. You know what I mean? In fact, if you Lamau at my misses, you don't deserve to pog at my hits. Okay? And if that hit, that would have been really good timing. That would have been really fucking good timing. Game two. Game two. Let me pick the let me pick the stage. Different. It's different when I pick the stage. Dude, this matchup is actually 80-20 in Sheik's favor. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's so bad for Sheik. God, that is so actually smart, but cringe at the same time. It's like a combo. I mean, nothing Sheik does is cool, to be clear, but if there was something to be in the category of cool, that would be close. It's like a cop doing a good thing, you know what I mean? Take it with a grain of salt. You get the stage. Bro's got angles. 
See what I mean? Uh, it's literally just stage gap. If we played on Dreamland every time, these are top 50 players. They should give me Dreamland every time. You know what I mean? You need the you need the reps, and I need the clout to win. So just let me play Dreamland. Surprise! Okay. <laughs> Turns out the surprise didn't work. <laughs> but had it worked, I would have looked really good there. Stop reaching! Stop reaching! Okay, give me, give me. God, okay, fine, 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 fine. Dude, give me. This is so cringe. This is so cringe that they're counter picking me. They're count. They're counting. I'm a commentator, and you're counter picking me. I am a commentator. How desperate? How desperate? stage and I win there. Can someone figure out how to edge guard cheek? <gasps> Dude, I haven't played this good against Sheik since I beat Aiden's ass in 2018. You gotta stop down smashing me. You gotta stop down smashing me. <laughs> oh my god. Pound again. They'll never expect it. Dude. 
Oh my fucking god, I almost won that. Oh my god, I almost won that. That was so close. Are they actually top 50 in the world? Ken wants to play? Like, I learned how to grab, and that's how I beat Bomb Soldier Ken? Liquid Ken wants to play. Former best player in the world? Are you memeing? He tweeted at you? Check Twitter? Wait, okay. Wait, where is this? Liquid Ken. He tweeted at you. Liquid Ken tweeted. Play me in Smash. Haven't played in a while either. <laughs> Ken, it's a lot different when I don't play for a while. Because I'm never... I, 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 okay, fine. 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 I'll play you. I'll play you. Is he live? Are you live? He streams, right? I've tuned into a Liquid Ken stream once upon a time. Are you live, Ken? You want to play for some gifted? He hasn't streamed since last... No, since two days ago. Go live. I'll give you the hands RN. <laughs> Liquid Ken, that's crazy. Bro, he's so good. I know he's good. I need one W. I need just one win. I'm so close on everybody. Title should be losing money against pro melee players. Yeah, why aren't any shitters coming out the woodworks? All right, no offense to... to just feels like everybody that's coming through happens to be a heavy hitter. Um, Give me someone shit. Give me, give me, give me an extra. Give me an Aiden, right? Give me a freebie. Give me a stance. Give me a slime. Instead of running through J Salt Ken, this is like a literal bracket to top 64 of a major. All right, let's see what Ken says. Oh, they gave me they gave me the name. They gave me the name. All right, hold up. K O S one one eight. All right, give me a second. I have to pee and then we'll start. Oh my God. This is my game.
All right. I looked up a hungry box guide in the bathroom, so I feel pretty good about this. We're going up against Liquid Ken, King of Smash. He said, "Go easy on me. I have bad wrists and haven't played in a while." Ken, I don't know if you've been watching. Uh, that is not an issue for me. Going easy is kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, but you know, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. It's a dope jacket. You're going to have to lose wearing a Team Liquid shirt. Okay. Relax. Okay. Let me focus. Let me focus. Let me get a song going. We're going to do a best of five against Ken because it's Ken. All right. Let's boot it. His thing is KOS 118, right? No, it's one one zero. Okay, I'm stupid. Wait, hold up. Everything crashed. Pause champ. Okay, we're good. All right, give it to me. The classic red Marth. Is he the goat Marth? Is there a better Marth to have ever done it? I see it. I see it now. Figured out how to grab. You can't laser when you grab. See what I can do when I'm not playing net play sweaty ass warriors, holus Friday night battlers. No offense, everybody. I will pay you out, guys. Net 275 standard payment. Ask my editors. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can't force Hawk to go. You can't force Hawk to go. You can't force Hawk to go. That was <laughs> that was terrifying. JV? Okay, never mind. That's stupid. That was stupid of me. I shouldn't have said that. Teleport me back to 2007. God, teleport me back to 2007. Oof. 
Damn, he's up to mashers. Fuck, I can't believe I paused the music. I did not bribe Ken. This is actually my second best matchup. Honestly, Zane should start taking notes. New Age Marth. All right, PPU tutorials. Lucky. Unlucky. Actually, unlucky. But imagine it hits. But imagine it hits. If he wins, this is going to be a video. You're damn right it's going to be a video. Are you kidding me? I no longer have to say Ludwig, the guy who beat Chillin's Mario. I can be Ludwig, the guy who beat the King of Smash. Because anyone who doesn't watch Melee... If I say I used to be good at Melee, I beat the King of Smash, they would kind of understand that, even though it was 12 years apart <laughs> from when I played to when I retired to when he retired. <sighs> Dude, how did you It's like a fly swatter. My thumbs hurt so bad. Dude, uh, every kill is like the most random ass tipper. Shouldn't have air dodged. Shouldn't have air dodged. Oh! No! Tick! Okay, never mind. Uh oh. <laughs> Dude, if I lost to a Ken combo. And now, he will try. A friend of the producer. Yes! Choose your character. Okay. Versus Mark. Ready? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me restart. Let me restart. I want to get a song going. It's best of five. It's best of five. What stage does he want to go? Does he want a stage? Are we counterpicking? Is it random? Should I just pick a random stage for him? Did he go to Battlefield? Okay. Mark. Ready? Go. Fuck. Dude, I get so many miss inputs. I I I I I I don't. I can't speak. I, I <laughs> There's so many melee players. Who have sweaty setups. I'm running this on like Dolphin FM beta 5.9. Unlucky.
<laughs> Already blaming your setup. I'm up too well. Respectfully. Is he coming? That was so cringed. That was so cringed. I got so cringed. He has to have passed the controller off to a friend of the producer. There's no way. I saw Hogger Box do that again, Zane. Oh! Come on. No one's gonna see it coming? Oh! Okay, actual, actual controller gap. I got one more of those if I can. No. No. Side B. No. I'm actually getting owned. I meant to fair. All I need is one rest. One rest. Yeah, fuck. I, I ran out of jumps. Fuck! Okay. Two more games, two more games, two more games, two more games. <sighs> okay. 2 1. Okay. Stop saying reverse 3 0. It, it's game four. I, I, I lose one game in all this. You guys are such doubters. Hello? Hello? Are we back? Are we back? Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? I've reset everything. I can possibly reset. Hello? Hello? Are we back? Can you see me? What happened to my fucking camera? Oh, there we go. Hello? Are we back? Dude, what was that? That was cringe. All right, well, uh, sorry about that to Ken. Let's, let's get our... I think we should... I don't know what's fair. I think we should go back to... Versus let's go back to FOD. Ready, go. Shit, let's, let's go back to FOD. I, I think it, let's just do four Versus socks of two. He said best of seven. Ready, he wants best of seven. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I could have made that comeback. Give me four stocks to two and let me see if I can make this comeback. All right, one second. 
All right, I'm good. I'm good. Play like this. Let's taunt to start. Okay, let's go. Do, do you want? Or is he, wait, hold, hold up. Is he playing? He's saying give him 77%. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, all right. I'm down. No, 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 no. We hit the SD twice first and then hit him to 77. Is that what he's asking for? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, that makes sense. Just go to game five. I can make a comeback. You chat, you can't just be like That's good, that's good, that's fine. Meeting Kare. Jigglypuff. Okay, maybe not. Unless. Dude, I don't know why the fucking internet crashed. It never happens. <laughs> okay, actual, actual misclick. Actual misclick. But how swag would it have been if I hit that? How swag would it have been? This is kind of winnable. I need to just get one edge guard and then a rest. I don't think I can rest him because I think he can come back and kill. It's actually kind of hard. Dude, if I didn't SD, I think I might have a better chance. Aww, your honor. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Oh, if I could have connected. <laughs> I'm in his head. I'm actually in his head. Ugh! No! I'm at such high percent. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we're still alive. Okay. Still a chance. My shield drops are crushing him. Okay, okay, rest on the board. Rest on the board. Any kill kills me. Any, uh, no! Okay, all right. All right, there was a chance. There was a chance there. There was actually a chance there. All right, so it's two to two. Is this a best of seven? I want to confirm before we go any further because I messaged him best of five. So is this game five or is this a best of seven now? Is he live? He wants seven. Can you tell him he, it's a best of seven then? Let's do a best of seven. If he wants a best of seven, I'm down. But like, let's confirm it now because it'd be cringe to get into game five and then be like, it's a best of seven. You know what I mean? It's 2-2. Two, two. He wants five? He wants best of five. He wants best of five. All right, best of five. Can I go to Dreamland? That's chill, right? He wants seven? What? What is going on? Bro said he wants seven. Okay, let's lock in. Confirm best of seven. I just DM'd him on Twitter. I said, best of seven, confirm. Harvest mode. Like puzzle Pokemon. I'm just sending on Twitter. I just want to absolutely confirm. I would hate to be wrong because you guys are baiting me. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's best of seven. I'm going to counterpick the Dreamland. Ready? Go! Ooh. I actually looked at chat. That was fucked. Tee. Tee. Okay. Tee. <laughs> Tee. He doesn't know how to handle this? Nobody has my rollouts. Okay, fair enough. Touche. Okay, dude, I don't know how to get out of this. When I figure it out, it's curtains. Dude, uh, uh, the side Bs are... I, I don't know if they're good. I feel like they're bad, and I feel like I should be able to punish them, but I'm just not. Okay. <sighs> get me in there. Get me in there, ref. Get me in there, ref. Get me... <laughs> fuck. Get me out of there, ref. Get me out of there, ref. There we go. So fucking close. Dude, if I just uh, st actually treat him with a little more respect, I think I can win. I, I, I don't know why I'm doing the rollout shit. I it, it, like, overcomes me. It's because one time I played the Crimson Blur and I killed him with rollout four times in a row. Never forget. There's a really good slide off by him. Gets those? Ah, oh, bummer. Okay. <sighs> Dude, stop comparing Ken to Blur. Wait, Blur's actually pretty good now. He's actually really good on Dreamland. Okay. 
Is this the last game, chat? Is this game seven? Easy. Do it again. <laughs> nice. It's game six. Okay. If I hit that rest, it's GG. I, 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 I. Still have a good chance. <gasps> That's so unlucky. Fuck, that is so unlucky. I think Dreamland might be worse for me. The shield drops just don't connect as much because the stage is too big. Come on. Oh! <laughs> Holy! All right, game seven, game seven, game seven, game seven. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second, I'm sweating. I'm actually fucking sweating. All right, hold up. I need, I, this is not a game seven song. I'm literally listening to like fucking, do, do, do. I'm listening to the Wii Bossa Nova song. Give me, give me a game, give me Warthog. One final effort, Halo 3. Okay, all right, game seven. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Fuck, it's his counter pick. That's what I get for losing. As long as I don't fall for um, down throw, forward throw, F smash gimmicks. It's the biggest stressor. But I think actually my shield drops are going to destroy him on the stage. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the platforms are so perfectly positioned for F smash. It's okay. He's at really high percent. We can edge guard. Nice. Give him nothing, give him nothing. Yeah, fuck. He's so invincible. Does the invincibility last longer on Slippy? I swear to god they changed it. Side B has to be bad, right? Uh, get away from me! Heathen! Dude! Fuck! It's fine. Dude, I, I gotta stop trading. I was supposed to be in this. Uh, Chill, 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 chill. It's okay. Fuck, he's catching on. He actually adapts super fast. That was actually really clever. He wants to F smash so bad. Every part of his, of his, of his fibrous being wants to F smash me. It's just hard to punish, though. Oh, I thought I would get there. Nice. Edge guard. Okay. Two socks to two. Arrest ties it up. Arrest ties it up. Don't force it, though. Don't force it. Let it come to you. Let it come to you. Okay, fair. Let it come to you. Let it come to you, baby. Come on. Oh, I thought I had a jump. Yeah, he fucking caught onto my shield drops. It's fine. Okay, he can't kill me off this, but he can probably do like 40. He's gonna try to F-Smash. No jump. Fuck. Good dare. He's desperate. I'm not. He's so desperate. I'm not. I could've rested that. It's okay. Yes! Let's go! Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart is in my mouth. Holy shit. That was so fucking stressful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I had so many chances to rest at the end there. That was a comeback and a half. <sighs> He wants the best of nine? <laughs> no, fuck no. <laughs> I won. No, I, I, we said best of seven. I, it's four to three. I, I, it's, it's over. It's, I, we could do a new match, but I, I, come on. You know, credit where credit's due. I, we kind of got that one done there. It's, you know, it feels like, uh, feels like uh, we deserve a, a dub there, you know? That's the king of smash where I'm from. Oh, my God. He says it doesn't count since you went for rests. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It doesn't count because I killed him with rest? Then then he's not allowed to use the sword. Okay? Let's let let's let's let you know, let's call it fair here. I'm down for a best of nine, but I get to be called the King of Smash for the next six months. Okay? I get that I get to steal that title from him. For the next six months, I'm the king of smash. Then we can swap back after we're done. New best of five. I'll do a new best of five. I'm asking. What happened to Jet? Like, I know. That's why I, 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 I've, I've literally... How long have I been streaming, Jet? I've been live for two hours, and I've been playing Melee. I've been killing my viewership and not doing the love lock and not making any progress on jet lag because I've been because Exer. Honestly, can I get a, can I get a fuck Exer one time in the chat, please? Thank you. Don't be mean to Exer. I am allowed to be mean to Exer. Okay, he said new best of five. Okay, fine, new best of five. Versus Mark. Ready? Go. Hold up, sorry, I just gotta. Okay. I try to do it again. I try to do it again. I love this. We're going to call that rest the Ludwig when I'm done with this set. Nice. He's slippery. No, that pokes. Fuck, he's just baiting me to go to platform. That's lucky. That is lucky. By the way, the fact that he can eyeball forward smash spacing that well he, after not playing for months is crazy, but that's so lucky. Nice. Close. He doesn't know how to deal this. Okay, he's figured it out.
Dude, the lag on that's crazy. Nice. He doesn't know how to deal with this. Yo, you still get there at 124%? Lag, use it to my advantage. Dude, ah! No! No! He wants to dare me so bad. Not in this lifetime, buddy. Back there. <laughs> that was a little peanut, a little peanut shield. All right, oh one. Your adrenaline ran out. It's not exactly fight or flight here. Fuck me, man. Okay. All right, that was embarrassing. How did you always catch up? Okay. Dude, he's nasty on FD. Is he like Mewtwo King? I, I, I still don't know if the side Bs are good or not. I feel like they're not killing me. Never mind, they're good. Dude, sometimes I fucking spawn at the stock and I'm just dog shit. Come on. Come on. I fall for that one stock. Go the other way! Hard killer? Imagine Mewtwo King. Dude, I give Mewtwo King the smoke right now. Oh, 
Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Man. Not as funny when it doesn't work. I just gotta be safe. Tournament winners are terrifying. It's a misclick. It's not actually on purpose. How does Dash Attack not even knock down? How does Dash Attack not even knock down? How does Dash Attack not even knock down? I'll take it. All right, last talk, last talk, last talk. Kind of a comeback, baby comeback here. Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Oh, my L cancel. Oh, that was nasty! Oh! 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, oh my god, imagine, 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 imagine that, imagine that, imagine that. That would have been the fucking coolest thing I've ever done in my fucking career. Holy shit, that would have been so cool. Grab me, smiley face. Smiley face. Teehee. I'm just a flat little pancake. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can do a two time. Oh! This guy's got some moves. Dude, it's, it, it, it's crazy how I feel like. I was going to say something super dumb. It's crazy how sometimes I feel like I'm playing against a human who can adapt to what I'm doing. <laughs> Was the thought that just came over my head. I actually did not want to land on Randall at all. Landing on Randall is so annoying as Puff. This should be no jump. Okay. Actually, well timed. He has actually good recoveries. Dude, my empty hops are not working. No! Oh! oh my god. Holy shit, that was so close. I I'm one back air away. Do not get clutch boxed. I'm Clutchbox, not you! <laughs> so close. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, game four? Bananas wants to play? Yeah, tell him to relax. Okay, I gotta stop going for this. Uh, it's actually disrespectful, but I've hit it too many times to not try. To be fair, he's gone for a lot of side bees. You know, isn't it's the it's that's the that's the puff rest of Marth. It doesn't really make sense if you keep going with the analogy, but. Dude, let me land, please. Thank you. Excuse me, that was gross. Daisy. Oh, that was weird. How, how does Hungry Box do the fucking? How does Hungry Box do the stupid dare and then they spin and then you grab? Every time I dare, they spin but I don't grab. Okay, GG. Whoa. I wanted to rest that with every ounce of my fiber. Rest. Nice.
<laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 I get it. I gotta get it. My pounds are greedy. My pounds are greedy. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yes. Down throw is so fucking good against Mark. That also works on Sheik Chet. GG. That's a 3-1, right? All right, GG. Let's go, baby. I'll take that all day. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <sighs> Those were some sweaty games. I I don't think I've sweat that hard in melee in a minute. All right, so what's the total damage on the day? We lost um, to Exter. We lost $500, but we beat the King of Smash. I'll take that. I'll take I'll take $500 lost to beat the King of Smash. That's not that bad for me. That's not that bad, all things considered. If only I played Melee. <laughs> Buddy, you can buy Melee. It will take you five years to catch up to me. Good luck, okay? Uh, anyway, chat, that's enough melee for me today. That's enough melee. My hands are actually already hurting. My hands are already hurting. Well, those were GG's. Those were GG's. Getting cringed. I'm like effing left and right. Can you hear me? Dude, I keep effing. We can't hear? Hello? We can't hear. Dude, I don't know what's going on. I, I, so the first outage, I think, was internet-based, and the second outage was because of Melee. Slippy just crashed my computer, or my OBS, which kind of sucks, but... Three K Andy Pog you. All right, let's do some jet lag then. Why are you wearing Team Liquid stuff? Uh, they paid me, but I also think it looks nice. Dude, I fucked up my jaw just now. Uh, all right, mods, can we change the title to React Andy Jet Lag, whatever? How do you get one of these? TL.GG slash LUD. It's already back. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's perfect. I meant the thumbnail more so. That said, wow, very cool. Up to rest. Oh. Yeah, now it's the Ludlock thumbnail. But we're not gonna do Ludlock for a little bit. Uh what did I want what did I what did I wanna do? What did I wanna do here? 
Uh, I'm not going to not do the Ludlock. I'm, I mean, we'll see about today, but I more so meant that right now we're not doing the Ludlock for like the next couple hours, so it doesn't make sense to put it in the title. What I do want to watch before jet lag, though, is Lud and Schlatt argue. My name is Schlatt, and I'm a little invisible guy. And I'm joined today by Ludwig, who's a little flight guy. He flies. I'm a flyer. Yeah, I like flying. Welcome back to Did Schlatt Win Everybody, where... Okay, if you don't know, Schlatt has this new podcast. Uh, it's kind of a podcast. It's kind of like a, a debate show. And basically, it, it's, it's a little freeform because it's early days, but you debate about a topic for X period of time, and then you have a slew of topics to debate. And, uh, and generally, like, most people in life aren't, they don't die on dumb hills, right? Like, the things you would actually debate about are things you are passionate about, which usually end up being a lot more tense than what do you, what is better, flying or invisibility? But I think the whole purpose of the show is, like, you are in debate class in high school. So anyway, Schlatt asks me to do this. We do this. I fucking blow him out the water. I think I already talked about this on the stream. We argued about uh, how many holes are in a straw. This motherfucker said infinite holes, which is like, what? Dumbest take I've ever heard. Destroy him into the ground. He suddenly loses all the files. Then he asked me to redo it with new debate topics. These are those new debate topics. And uh, I'm curious if you guys think I won the argument or Schlatt. The first one is what is better flight or invisibility? I urge you to only vote based on how the arguments go, not how you feel about True. them. Because honestly, last episode I argued with Tommy about how many holes are in a straw. I blew him out of the water, and most people just voted on how they felt about it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Does it feel good to Jake Paul your way through three easy pickings? Okay. Look, I have a confession to all the viewers of Ditch Light Win. Um, most of the Tommy episode was questions and debates that uh, I did with Ludwig. What happened to the recordings of those, Schlatt? A good... Hour or so after we finished recording, I went to review the footage, and I was not recording my audio. Yeah, that's what he says, okay? But top down, this is a f farce. Oh I filled every orifice you have verbally with logic, facts, and destroyed every single argument no, you had. No, you left true. talking that's to true. me, asking me about how many straw holes there were. Mm -mm. I did win those arguments, uh, but unfortunately, you'll never be able to hear them. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. I, I kind of just transferred the arguments over to Tom. It is so true, though. If you look at the first few episodes, he lined up the fucking Toontown squad, the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse boys. His first argument was against Jack Manifold, which is, like, free. Then he argued short versus tall against a short person, which is not even an argument. It's just bullying. And then he argued against Tommy in it who rubbed his British brain cells together to come up with the one whole argument. It, 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 you know, it's just, it, it, he was going for the absolute easiest pickings of all time. All right? Not not an English major. Tommy, and I, I beat him just as bad as I beat Ludwig that day. Yeah. Let's not dwell on the past, you know? Let's not dwell on the past. Let's not, let's not focus on the fact that you've picked on two teenage British kids with no brains. Today, Ludwig, we're talking about would you rather be invisible or fly? Mm. Nice little superpowers. What do you think? Flight isn't the best superpower. No. But between the two options, flight is the best one for sure. I would argue that it also is not the best superpower to be able to, uh, to, be, able to be invisible. But I think this is the better option out of the two. And here's why. You know the government? Yes. You know, uh, you know how they like to fuck with people? Like they'll try and convince you that your uh, sons didn't die and then give you a fake son. And then uh, when you try and, and tell them that <laughs> this is not my son anymore, they're going to... I don't know what, he, what he's referencing here, but I believe it happened. Put you in a mental hospital and then uh, lobotomize you through, through your skull. Put an ice pick through your brain. L less familiar with it, but okay. They'll keep you in a cage if they see you flying, Ludwig. That's my point. And I think that's why being invisible is the better option. Do you this is such a bad argument, by the way, because the crux of the argument is not... It, it like it relies on him agreeing that flying is better than invisibility. However, he's saying that you cannot fly, which implies that if you were to be able to fly, then flight would be better. It just so happens that flight is worse because the American government will stop you from flying. 
But if you're able to disprove that the American government does that, or you leave the confines of America, or you make the rational argument that I didn't hear, that invisibility would have the same exact problem. It's not exactly like if you're invisible, they wouldn't be able to find you. They got some thermal shit, right? They, they spend billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. Then, then the argument falls apart. U.S. government has loads of sonar and radar detection equipment, and they're aimed everywhere. You think they're not aimed everywhere? So your big argument on why flight is worse than being invisible is not because being invisible is good. No. But it's because flight could get you trapped. It will. In a, in a, it will get you trapped will. because the American oh. government. I'm getting a call. Sorry. No one important. Okay. Well, shall I? Wait, hold on. Oh. Recording a podcast. What's up? They edited this down. This went for 10 minutes. Oh, that's you said what's up? What? Your whole argument is predicated on the fact that the U.S. government would entrap anybody who shows the ability to fly. Yes. If they don't shoot you down first, right. you will be shot down. They'll take fucking fighter jets if they see you doing that shit. Hey, let me reach across the aisle here. I agree with you. They shot down a fucking balloon that was tracking the weather because it came from China. So I'm in the air for more than five seconds. Senate gets a, an emergency meeting. They shoot my ass down. Exactly. It's not too dissimilar than how they would likely treat somebody that was invisible because presumably if you were invisible, you'd be doing invisible things. How are they gonna get you? Well, let's be real. We're talking about the American government. So they if you probably are invisible, I bet your dumbass would have your phone in your pocket or some shit. No. No, you'd be really smart invisible guy. I'd be fully naked and I wouldn't be making a noise because I have enhanced lung capacity. What, you get that? Yeah. Okay, I have super dodging ability and I can't get shot down. Like, what do you, we're playing? No, no, just me in general, I have enhanced lung capacity, right? He does, he does not have good. Why does it having enhanced lung capacity make you silent, by the way? It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not even, I should have, this is such a dumb thing to bring up. It's not even relevant. It's not even, unless he's going underwater and he wants to be there slightly longer than the average person. It's not even helpful. Ready? <gasps> I haven't breathed yet. This went on way longer. They've edited this down. We did this for about, I want to say, 70 seconds. <sighs> All right. I believe you. We just sat there holding our breath. We didn't say a fucking word. You remember Stranger Things? You remember uh, Seven from that show? They kept her in a cage and fucking... Her name's not Seven. It's Eleven. <laughs> they kept her in a cage and fucking poked yeah. and prodded at her? They kept her in fucking a cage, Fucking poked yeah. and prodded at her at the I'm, beginning of I'm, that show? Remember that? I'm going to... I'm going to flip your whole paradigm here. Also, by the way, based off that argument in media, there was also an invisible guy in a show called The Boys. Didn't end well for that fucker. Didn't take the American government to track that bitch down. They got him lickety split with just a couple of fucking nobodies. Oh, my throat. Ooh. That shouldn't even be hurt. You didn't use it for that. You were holding your breath. You weren't breathing, so your throat... I think because you are arguing on the fact that flight in America could get you shot down, you and your heart of hearts believe that flying would be a, a fun, magical experience. Yes, it would be. And if we lived in a, in a government or in a society in America where they wouldn't shoot us down, then you wouldn't be as stressed. Sure. So here's my counterpoint. I'm just going to take my ass over to Spain. I have dual citizenship. I can go to France if I want. I can go to Sweden. They're going to put you in a box regardless. Nope. They're going to put you in a... They're going <laughs> to extradite you. Buddy, buddy, You know what they buddy. did to fucking Pablo Escobar? They got him over here. That is such a different situation, no, obviously. No, it's not. No, it's the not. The French population rioted in the streets this past week because they raised the age of retirement by two years. They rioted. All right? Oh, I would be a so you're saying the hope. So you're saying the French government is just as evil and oppressive as the U.S. government? I'm saying they got no power. The people will roll over them. -uh. What's True. Macron's True. little tiny ass hand, baby ass hand? No, gonna they're do? gonna put you in a box too, brother. You know where they'll never put you in a box? Where? Japan. What does that mean? They wouldn't put me in a box. They don't have an army in Japan. Yeah, they would. They put you in a box. No, they wouldn't put me in a box. If I saw a random person flying around, I'd want them in a box. How about that? Sweden. Sweden. They'd love me there. They'd love would, me in Sweden. I, if you had someone with superpowers, you wouldn't. George. I'd be flying over saying that. <laughs> You don't even understand what I'm saying. See? You wouldn't put someone in a box and fuck with them if they... <laughs> I'm destroying him in the marketplace of ideas right now.
He's getting so owned. <laughs> had superpowers just to do experiments on them and learn? If I was in America, yeah, of course. It's my God-given right. But exactly. if I'm outside of a, the, 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 the confines of America, nah, I appreciate I'm fucking with that. We know how powerful the United States government is. True. And you, as Ludwig, you are a high VIP, very important person in this country. If they see you flying around, flying away... They're not going to put up with that. This was the plot of Iron Man 2, by the way. They're going to send a plane wherever, and they're putting you in that box, and they're going to fuck with you. But if they get me, they put me in a box, guess what? I'm invisible now. I found a solution for this small, petty little problem that we can move on and start talking about new things. Okay. I'll just create an, a, a, an Epstein-like island with no nefarious activities. <laughs> I just mean a secluded island that I get to fly in. So I'll... <laughs> I could have just said an island. I didn't have to say Epstein. I could have just said an island. I could. I didn't have to say that. I could have just said any island. I'll make my own island that I go to to fly in. It'll be Ludwig Island. Nothing weird will happen there. I'm using. I should have used a different island. But what I'm trying to say is, I'll just find an island, and then that will be my island that I can fly in. It's my flying island. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. And then you keep like a little logbook of everyone no, who flies no, there. No. 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 There's no log. There's no log. Nobody works there. It's just an island. Everyone who flies at the island, you have a logbook of everybody. Every everybody who comes. We don't and have flies a logbook. There. On I feel the like island. it's a good part of the podcast to let everybody know I'm not a predator. They're gonna put you in a box, bro. They're not gonna. They're put gonna, me gonna put, in a put box. you in a box wherever They're you go. They're not gonna put me in a box. And invisibility will get you out of any situation <laughs> in which you're entrapped. Where are you flying? That's so important. Or is it just the act of flying that's fun? I just would love, I think it would bring me immense joy to fly around the world. I watched this one video. You ever see it? The guy flies to McDonald's I love on, that a, video. on a para. Like a paraglider thing? No. Right, look it up right now. Look it up. No. Look it up. Don't, don't be an asshole. No. Look it up. Look it up on your computer. I don't want to. What do you mean? What is this? What is this? What is that? I don't, look it up. I don't want to. It's a cool contraption. It's, it's a cool a contraption. It's cool. It's cool. He's cool. not even really flying. He well. Oh, my this, invisible. Yeah. My invisible guys are the best. What do you mean they're the best? No, they're bringing the worst invisible guys. Some good people, sure. Most invisible guys suck. All right. They they all they only want to be perverts and be they, they want to be little perverts. Or what the fuck? You just talked about buying an Epstein Island. No, and you talked about such, buying a is, version of Epstein's Island to go such, there and have your fun. So a mischaracterization. You said I'm gonna buy a, a second version of Epstein's Island. Most people who would have the power to go invisible, or when they talk about it, it's always for nefarious purposes. Most people aren't like, yeah, I would love to go invisible so I could be a fly in the wall in some cool exclusive meeting that I usually don't have access to. It's usually like pervy shit or greedy actions like i want to get really rich that's most people who want to become invisible it's most people to go and have my fun there it's not like a lot of people buy islands there's not like i don't have another island guy off the top of my head so i was trying to think of an Hawaii? island that you could buy long island that's america i'm trying to think of something that's not american that you could buy i don't, I don't know a lot of island owners what country was epstein's island it's in? its own thing it's an island it's not in a country it's like an island it was in the u.s it was in the u.s virgin islands you fucking idiot. Flying is so dope. Flying Dude, would be so you, dope, bro. You fucking idiot. My God. <laughs> Flying would be so dope. Do you think you could buy a, a small island and not be under not be under any jurisdiction? Yeah. Yeah, like Tuvalu. Why can't I buy Tuvalu? Like a like a like a different Tuvalu with no one on it. There's there's definitely islands that are in like no one's got them. They're like, yeah, if you can get, you can have this island. No one's really here. You can have it. Yeah, I thought I'd just buy a fucking island and then it'd be my fucking island. I didn't think I, I then I thought I could like piss and shit wherever I want and no one freak and out. And you're a streamer, which means you only care about validation. So you'd only be enjoy, you'd only enjoy flying if people no. saw you flying. No. Wrong. Yes. Wrong. Wrong. Why do you turn into Trump when you? Oops. <laughs> the greatest single joy that I have day to day. He fucking turns into Trump when he starts losing. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Life is about is about a pursuit of happiness. It's about finding mm -hmm. finding joy, finding things that mm -hmm. make you happy. Uh -huh. There's a few mm -hmm. things that make everybody happy. It's relationships. Mm. It's your it's your fellow it's your fellow comrades. It's mm. your it's your loved ones. Money. Mm. Money is financial freedom, which allows you to enjoy those things around you. Mm. But there's also other things. There's other things. Hobbies, g g gaming, maybe that that brings you a little bit of joy. The greatest joy I have in my day to day life outside of people is is riding around my Vespa mm -hmm. during sunset. There's mm -hmm. a sense of sereneness and understanding that when this sun fades and this darkness comes over me, it's something that'll happen for billions of years after I'm gone. Now, being able to fly, right, would be such a different experience with the birds, with the noise, with the wind, right, right the sunset with a vantage point no one's ever seen. I feel like that experience alone, I could die happy. And your butt I mean, you tell me. You tell me. I Look, you tell me who won that one. Who won that one?
I feel like we were mostly arguing about mine and Schlatt didn't really say shit about invisibility except for the fact that like I would be able to get out of the American government's hands. But I don't feel like there was a good argument for why invisibility is good, only for why flight could possibly maybe be bad. Okay, look at this unbiased audience voting. I like this. This is this is a intelligent voting base. We're talking a young, smart, studied, respectful voting base. We need a neither. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, for the next one, we'll do that. All right, this one's how to correctly button up a shirt. I thought this argument was weird, but Schlatt really wanted to debate it, so I was down. All right, do you button it from top to bottom or from bottom to top? Can we set some ground rules? Okay. What's the shirt? What's the occasion? Button, shirt, shirt with buttons. A jacket. Sure, a jacket, a dress shirt can be really anything with no, buttons. No, 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 it's different. Okay, you button different articles of clothing differently? Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, that's a really good way to put my argument. How do, do you that. do that? Can you explain it? Well, I guess to preface, you button every single thing with buttons top down always. Every single piece of clothing that I have that has buttons on it, I start at the very tippy top. Or I start wherever I would like the buttons to start. So sometimes that's at the top. Sometimes it's, you know, if it's a dress shirt, whoa, whoa, I'll start whoa, at the Whoa, 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 whoa. What? So it changes. It's not always at the top. It starts wherever I, it starts wherever I want the buttons to start. It starts at the top most button you'd like buttoned. Yeah. Okay, understood. Now I'm going to give you an example here. Okay. You're going to a wedding. Mm -hmm. Your friend is getting married. You are a groomsman. Congratulations, Slat. Thank you. All right. You got to wear a button down and tie. Mm. You are starting at the absolute throat crunching top button. Okay. Well, I'd start from this, maybe the second to top. Oh, okay. Wow. Falling apart really quickly, are we? You are the <laughs> motherfucker who said you start at the bottom. Can we talk about this for a second? You said you start at the bottom. Slat, I have flexibility. Oh All right, I, I do what is most convenient in my life. Sometimes that's the bottom. Sometimes that's halfway up. But I would never, ever start with the top most You button. argue so dishonestly, you stupid <laughs> fucking bitch. He got so mad during this argument. I think he got unironically mad during this. Whoa. You stupid pinhead-looking pipsqueak <laughs> motherfucker. This is where he's going. Take a stance. Take a stance, mogul. You're easy pickings. I'm not easy. You, you do it <laughs> <laughs> I set him off. Weird. You fall apart. All right. SVB is who I'm talking to right now. They're going to put you in a box the way you button a button down shirt. They're not going to put me in a box. They're going to put you in a box because you're talking about starting Epstein Island too. <laughs> They're going to put you in a box because you button the top neck button. See, this is what you did last time. This is what the viewers. <laughs> this is what the viewers. You in a box because you buttoned the top neck button. See, this is what you did last time. This is what the viewers. This is what the viewers didn't see last time when I lost the audio because you take each argument and you force it to its very extreme case that seems to make the rest of the common sense of my argument look a little silly. You haven't even said what you do. I told you what I do. You haven't even said what you do. What do you do? <laughs> I do what's most comfortable. So oftentimes that ends up being towards the bottom. So the, the most comfortable is to start down here. It, it would be probably in somewhere, maybe the third or fourth button up to create a bit of tension. That's fucking insane. It's not insane. It's not insane. You need to create a bit of tension around the waist. One, two, three, four. And then you start here? I'm not Count Chocula, buddy. I just look halfway down and I just grab the button that feels natural. Like, it's so easy easy to tell from the top where the buttons start it's because you didn't create tension what do you mean because when you go from the bottom up there's no tension so the buttons become a little harder to grasp it's like simple buttoning the buttons they line themselves up when you start from the top it's so i'm not exactly doing third up i'm saying like for example like when i let's let's say denims you, you know you ever have a what are they called 405s the 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 levi's denims that have the the buttons instead of the zipper like i don't i don't go top down on those i go top button to create tension then i'll go bottom up from there you know what I mean? Like, I think there's different ways to button different things. I, I'm, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to be honest about here. Top down doesn't make sense. You, you're always top down. You're not buttoning right. So easy to go to the next That's one. That's not the top. You missed one. Go to the very top. This is, okay. I, you you already know uh, how I feel about uh, this. You already know how I feel about this. I mean, hey, you said top down. That was your, you said you always do top down. This is, I, Anyone would say. You sound like you got a stoma. Anyone would say that this is still top to bottom because you're starting basically at the top. And look, the buttons line themselves up.
I don't have to guess. I don't have to guess. I'm just giving you an example uh -huh. that immediately deteriorated your argument of a dress shirt where you would where you would not go top down. You would save the top for later. And so now I'm a crazy person, apparently. I'm a, I'm a Rooney. 95% <laughs> at the fucking top, bro. Is that what you said earlier? Or did you say you always go top down? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> so let's have some consistency. You distill it to the stupidest fucking, the stupidest fucking edge case. It's not an edge case. It, it's so dishonest. It's so dishonest. <laughs> at its core, every single rule that you create in life should be applicable for all scenarios. So you just True. live in this kind of amorphous state of, oh, I don't know. I don't have it. I don't, whatever's good for me at that time. Little baby said what? Going back, what? <laughs> What's the uh, next topic? I'm not done. Oh. I think in general, <laughs> most people will listen to time. Little baby said what? Going back, what? <laughs> What's the uh, next topic? I'm not done. Oh. I think in general. Most people will uh, listen to what you just said, how you generally tend to button up and down your shirts from from the, a middle point and then down all the way to the bottom of the shirt mm -hmm. and then back to the middle and then up a little and then up a little until maybe this, maybe this will get you there. Maybe this will get you there. Okay. Sometimes I like feeling like a 90-year-old European who's just wearing the shirt way too open you know what i mean uh -huh. you know you ever see those guys those yeah, europeans yeah, yeah. they got like yeah. three buttons and it's like they got like white chest hair popping out right but it's always like a little bold i'm like ah, i can't go out like this is cr I look crazy i get that i'm on my way to the abbey right now okay so then i, I get like throughout the night i like start buttoning it up a little bit like as i'm re getting ready but in the early stages i like feeling at least role playing for a little bit that i that i could have this level of confidence I like, like I a like nine year old like geriatric that. european but you don't but I usually end up going at some point from that bottom button where I'm European up. And I think most people would just think that's an absurd postmodern nightmare. You use that word without knowing how it fit in. What? What's postmodern about it? I heard it on Fox last night. <laughs> that's problematic. What do you mean? <laughs> All right, chat. Who won that one? Who won that argument? Lud Schlatt. Neither. Well, it should be draw over neither. But I guess neither is a draw. You gasled the hell out of him? I just found what I felt like was an inconsistency in his argument, and I wanted him to own that he was inconsistent. Look, at the end of the day, I'm arguing for a less popular thing, right? The, the, the thing about an argument is you don't always get to argue the good side. Sometimes when you're debating, you have to take the bad side. But you still have to argue for the bad side. And how are you going to argue that? That's kind of a situation you get into sometimes. So you agree top down? I, I actually still think it's more fluid than that. I think a lot of the times it's bottom up. I think a lot of the times it's bottom up. Much more than saying top down gets credit for. Like, I, I want to say it's 65-35 maybe. Top to bottom. Certain things you do bottom up. Like a, like a, what, like a, like a three-quarter, like a polo. You wouldn't go top down. You'd go bottom up. Right? Uh, Levi's pants probably go bottom up. Um, dress shirt, you never start at the very top button that you want. You have to go somewhere in the middle down, then to the top at the end. It, top down by itself is just a bad rule of thumb, I think. I think there's a little more fluidity, which I think honestly is how I shifted it. Because originally the argument was I had to argue bottom up, and I was like, I don't believe in that. Bottom up always is cringe. So I changed it to I am fluid, and you are top down always. All right, last one is water wet. This one's a classic. Ludwig, is water wet? It's a good question, Schlatt. And I think it's kind of a, a head scratcher. And my, my gut, in my heart of hearts, says, yeah, water is wet. Why do you think water is wet? Let's dive in. <laughs> water is abundant. Mm -hmm. Wet is a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, hold on. <laughs> I forgot I said him. I forgot I said him. <laughs> hmm. Water 
creates the wet, I'd say. I don't think water is yeah, the wet. I can understand that. I'm talking like Starfire from Teen Titans. I, what? If you have fire, if I lit my house <laughs> on fire right now right. and claimed right. a shit ton of insurance money for it. Right, so much. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about it now that you planted okay. that idea in my head. Wouldn't have announced it. Would you but... say that the fire is burning? Is the fire itself, does it have that property of being burnt? Similarly, would water have the property of being wet is this a dishonest way of arguing? Because I don't think it is. Yeah, I would say it's a little dishonest because being wet is not a permanent state, but being burnt is, right? Mm. Like you are changing the state of matter. So when does something become wet? So wet, I think generally is a visual thing. Like I think that's, by the way, I, I, I hate that fire argument. I think, I think the fire argument is so bad. I think there's a lot of great arguments for why water is not wet. But, I, but comparing it to fire, as like it, it's like a clear, clear difference. There's a chemical change to things burning. You cannot go back from burnt. Like you can see when things are wet mm. or you feel it with your senses. You can you can feel that is th that is something is wet. Mm. And so sometimes something doesn't visually look wet, like a like a chair that's padded, but you sit down and it's very wet and your ass gets wet instantly. It's happened to all of us. Okay. Right? And you're like, "I know it's wet because of that." What does this have to do with water? With water, uh -huh. I don't know if we can visually tell that it's wet because how do we separate water from being wet? The water bestows the property of wetness. The water is not wet. the water is not wet itself. All right, tell me. Tell me why water isn't wet. I don't know. Okay. Is a molecule of water wet, would you say? I think any amount of water is wet. Despite the fact that it's not sticking to anything. I, I think that it's the ability is what I'm talking about. How is water not wet? I don't know. I just, I want to even understand because, a basis. So, because wet is the property of having water on it that's sticking to it. When, it. when you, when you dry it, can you dry water? Yeah. If I'm wet, you can dry water. Water evaporates. Oh. There is a set amount of water on earth that came from meteors billions of years ago. We will never get more water. You know that, right? I don't. We'll never get more? We're never going to get more water, ever. Really? We have as much water as we will ever have, barring a nether meteor full of ice coming down to Earth. And if that happens, we got a lot more problems. That's true. And what do you think happens to the water? It recycles. It evaporates into the air and it falls back down. So, yeah, water does by itself dry. You seem lost, buddy. The, the, the pro <laughs> property of being wet is only applied by the water itself. The water has has nothing to wet when it's a body. Right. It can wet the ground below it perhaps, but in general, the water, the body of the water itself can't be wet because wet is the property of having water sticking on it and affecting it. Mm. Look, first off, I get the argument. I'm gonna reach across the aisle here. You're saying that water doesn't change states so it's either always wet or always dry but maybe i argue a little differently here maybe in my mind water when it evaporates when it becomes a gas is no longer what we would call wet because it's not dense enough to make things wet now there are certain points when it's in a gas state if there's enough water that it could make something wet but most of the time when it's evaporating the same reason you walk around and you're not instantly getting wet all right, even on a very humid day, it's like you know y y you can feel that, right? Mm. Talking about fucking humidity, mm. kind of wise in a way. Oh my God, but you understand that there's there's a gradient of of when water becomes gas, where we consider it dry. There's a dry day out or wet, a humid day out. So just like the button up, it it just changes on based on how you feel. There's no set answer. Every single thing in this world is nothing except how we perceive it with our senses. What are you talking about? <laughs> The world we perceive is different from You're other so creatures dishonest. who perceive You're it so differently. Dishonest. It's not dishonest. It's trying to find truth in subjectivity. Terrible. There's mm. not a correct answer, Schlatt. Mm. We have a limited amount of senses, mm. a limited amount of technology. Schlatt! Schlatt! <laughs> Schlatt! Schlatt! Buddy! 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 It's a magazine, not a clip. Relax! It doesn't even work. This worked for Moist and Sneeko. I don't know if it's applicable for Water is Wet. It's okay. I have another one. I have another one. Okay. Why, why do you have two? Just shoot Jesus, Schlatt! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that would have been so bad if you killed That went a lot longer in the actual call, and it was a lot more stressful for me because I didn't like looking at the gun in his mouth. <laughs> killed yourself. That would have been bad. I was, I was like, fuck, man, I really hope he doesn't kill himself here. <laughs> Like, I know he's not gonna, but like, man, it's, I don't even like the being in the spot. That would have been bad. Oh, jeez. Kind of like Epstein, you know, <laughs> how he did that. Maybe he got caught flying. Maybe he did. Maybe they have him in a little box, poking and prodding at him like seven. It's 11. Thanks so much for watching Ditchlat Win, everybody. You can go over to ditchlatwin.com or follow us on Twitter at ditchlatwin and vote in the poll to see who won all these fun...
awesome arguments. Ludwig, thanks so much for coming on, man. Thanks so much. Absolute pleasure, buddy. Can't wait to see the next British kid next week after you lost this one. You got anything you want to shout out? I don't want an island. I feel like like maybe that's the one thing that's good. I don't want one. I don't want one. I don't want one. I feel like people might think I want one, but I don't want one. I really don't want one. <laughs> I just want to fly. I just want to fly. I just want to fly. I want to fly. Peace. Yeah, you set yourself up for, for terrible. All right, chat. Who won that one? Who won that one? Me, Schlatter, neither. Ooh, it's a blowout. God damn. The gradient gaseous thing got me. I feel like it makes sense. They're, they cut out, he cut out some of this, The uh, you know, to, obviously to make it snappier. I think we probably argued for 45 minutes total. So ha you see half of that. But, but what I was saying is that uh, water is super sticky, right? Like water sticks to other water. Uh, and, and I feel like, because you kept talking about how water sticks itself and that's what makes it wet, but water sticks to water. And water itself is not hydrophobic. Water is very homophobic. That's not it. Uh, it likes, to, it's hydro friendly. It's cohesive. Don't say phase up after I said homophobic. <laughs> hydrophilic. It's hydrophilic. So what's homophilic? Is there heterophilic? Terrible press for that one. Just want to fly. Just want to fly. And you know what? We're leaving all of it in. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Bye. Please don't, though, right? You're not gonna. Are we off? You're not gonna, right? Schlatt. He held that for three minutes, like Nardwar. Dude, I think I crushed those debates, not because of your guys' polls, but Schlatt put the polls on his Twitter account. And I am winning every single poll on his Twitter. His Twitter! I mean, tight margins, but still. 3% win, 2% win. This one's a blowout, 14%. Rigged by your massive fan base. Schlatt, I don't know why you keep saying this, is a bigger creator. We know this to be true. I don't know why you're pretending it's not the case. We know it to be true. We know it to be true. Anyway, I thought that was a fun vid. Jet lag, jet lag. Welcome back to episode three of our race across New Hold up, I gotta get some water and I gotta I gotta pee, and then we're gonna watch episode three and four of jet lag, alright? Water pee jet lag.
Jet lag time! New Zealand. Last episode... Welcome back to episode three of our race across New Zealand. Last episode, my partner Toby and I went from being about 50 minutes behind to around 30 minutes ahead, largely thanks to our decision to take the longer western route. Despite its 192 minute driving time, 70 minutes longer than the eastern route, its three relatively simple challenges didn't slow us down too much, while Ben and Adam, on the eastern route, spent over two hours completing their first three challenges, with two still left to go. Being behind is especially bad right now because we're approaching Auckland, the largest city in New Zealand, which all paths go through. The team to complete the Auckland challenge will earn- We watched episode two a while ago. A huge reward and have their pick of the many paths headed south. All of which is to say, Ben and Adam are desperate to catch up by blazing through their remaining challenges. The first of which is attempting to find a clock at Clapham's Clock Museum that's telling the right time within 15 minutes. The only problem is, the museum's closed. <sighs> Oh god, that is so good. That is not good. Damn, he looks distraught back there. Oh, that's nice to hear, Dave. Back on the road again. We need to learn the rest of that song. That's, that's the only lyric I know. Toby, I have some delightful news. Mm -hmm. I did the math. I know that's your thing, but I did it. Mm -hmm. It is currently the closure time of the Clapham Clock Museum, so it seems like they're gonna have to veto. Can we, we can see clocks through. Okay. This glass. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, look at, look through here. There's so many clocks. There's definitely one. They just have to, wait, that clock is right. It's 611, this clock is at six. Look, that's, that's right. Am I crazy? This clock is correct. It's like 610. No, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ben, Ben, Ben. What time is it? Um, that one says 556. It's 611. That's within 15 minutes. That's exactly within 15 minutes. Look. Which one? Show it, show it. The grandfather clock there. You see that on the left? Okay, I'm going to zoom in for you. You see that? 557. It's 611. That counts, right? That has to count. That can, that's, we found the clock, that's the clock. I think it counts. The museum did not have to be open. It didn't, it didn't, it never said that it had to be open. So let's get out of here. I don't know how they missed the one that was like 610. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well that, uh, we really averted disaster there. Our next location is the Waipu Caves. And our challenges. Find a glowworm at Waipu Caves. I don't think I know what a glowworm looks like. I'm so excited for this. Like. This is, in many ways, this is why I wanted to take the east route. I, I want to see a glowworm. See the glowworm. We just have to find one glowworm. I'm imagining this is just a worm that glows. That little guy running glowworm. Across. Oh, he's just like a little guy. Yeah, fair. Okay, Waipu Caves entrance. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so just be real careful. It was kind of sketchy. Oh man, it's really just a cave. It's a legit just a cave. Let's get our lights going. Oh, this is so scary. What the hell? This is crazy. Oh my god. Is he rocking yeah, capris? We should go. Don't eat glowworms. Don't eat glowworms. We're gonna go left, Ben. Left. 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 That way is left. This feels insane. What's this happening? Should be so illegal. Y'all just walk into caves in New Zealand? Is that it? You just you find a cave, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll walk into this shit. Really? Okay, now that we're back here, let's try turning our lights off and seeing if we can see a glowworm. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Can you see them? I don't know if they're showing up on the camera. Here, I'm gonna take some long exposure pictures of them. That's actually kind of dope. They're so pretty. They're like, it looks like a night sky. Is that to like bang? Because it's dark in there, so the worms can't see other worms. And if the worms want to bang to procreate, they got to put a little light out. 
I would describe that in, you know, like a very serious way as being quite magical. Okay, Toby, I just realized something magical. We're actually, like, safely ahead. That's good because, you know what, Sam? I think I've done the thing. What is the thing? The terrible thing. What which is, is, you know, when you kind of close your door, but you don't really close your door and it's kind of. Oh, yeah. And it's well, I've done that like twice um, today. <laughs> I'm looking for the first opportunity to close the door. Well, and that makes me feel a little bit less stressed. Best I can tell, you have the time to close your door. <laughs> um, That's great news, Sam. Are they talking about taking a shit? No, the car door's open. Oh, they're literally talking about the door. Oh. That's wow. Crazy. So that makes, wow. So we just, that Western route, that was, that was the right call. That was easily the right call. I, I honestly didn't get it. Not, my head's not in the gutter. I just, if the door was slightly open, I would just open and close the door. I don't know. Maybe I'm a riskier driver though. Maybe I, I don't drive as well. But if the door was slightly open, even if I was on the road, I would just go, doo -doo. And then I'll keep driving. While driving? Yeah. Am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? Yeah, I would just fucking do it. I feel like maybe in an ideal world, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to pull over to a safe place and then open my door and close my door. No, I'm just going to fucking boom, boom, call it a day. I'm not going to. I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm just going to do that. You can fall out? No, I'm not going to fall out. That's not how it works. I'm not going to fall the fuck out. What do you mean? <laughs> how do you think it works? It's not like a plane. It's not like pressurized and I open the door and I'm going to go like, no! and get sucked out. I, I ride a Vespa. I ride a Vespa. I'll tell you what. There's no doors in that bitch. And I never, I've never flown off. Also, no seatbelts. Never flown off. You're, it's fine. It's not... It's not that big of a deal. Look, I know we're in a hurry. Let's just go a little further, Adam. Who's tra well, chat? What if you're with me? Just keep going. Just, just really get in here. Oh, you can see him on the video now. Oh, it's so blue. It's incredible. Oh my gosh. I really want to know what they taste like. Don't eat them. You can't eat them. I bet you really like to eat one. You know what movie makes bugs look delicious is The Lion King. When Timon and Pumbaa start slurping that shit up like it's the most delicious sashimi known to man, I've always been like, maybe, maybe I'd give it a shot. Okay. They make it look like gummy worms. We gotta go. Okay. We've seen That's glow worms. This was awesome. We've already spent extra time in here just because they're so cool. We do have to go. They're so cool. They're so cool. They're hallucinogenic. That was maybe the coolest thing we've ever done. They got yeah, a good amount of money. I, I mean, after being so far behind this morning, and now we're, I'm going to guess we're going to be a full 30 minutes ahead. Um, I would not be surprised if we get a curse soon. I'm sure Ben and Adam are, are thinking about that. Get this. Oh yeah, it's closed. Nice. That rocked. So let's a lot. Keep going. I guess. Let's keep going. Okay. I think that I do feel like, and I'm not saying this is what they're doing, but I do feel like if I was on this game show or any game show that involved driving, driving, I would do like a little more performative driving. You know what I mean? Like I would drive like a little bit safer. I'd always have my hands on nine and three. I would be like checking my mirrors before I head off. I'd pull over to like pick my nose. We should buy a curse. Thanks, Just put it in our deck. See if it's going to be useful in the future. Just know what we have. Yeah. Don't you think? I agree. I don't drive dangerous, by the way. I don't, like, fucking go off-road and skid my car around and try drifting. I just drive... Usually in the right lane, going minimum speed limit. I put my foot up, and I'm chilling. 
Let's do it. We'll do it while we're driving, though. We'll get, let's get going. Toby, we're, we are on the one road that is a choke point before yeah. Auckland. We do have a safe margin, but I wonder if we, while we have the opportunity, maybe want to draw a roadblock and see if it'd be a good to one to put down. A, to be a Nine and three is literally so dangerous. What the fuck happened? I, did, not, did I say nine and three or ten and two? I said nine and three, right? It's nine and three now. You're outdated, chat. It's nine and three, right? It's supposed to be ten and two. No, it's not. You're supposed to do nine and three. Ten and two is dangerous. Oh, okay. All, all what I was taught is nine and three, and then you're not supposed to tuck your thumbs inside your steering wheel in case the airbags go off, because then your thumbs will break. Kid on a choke point is priceless. The way like the way her thumbs are inside of the car wheel right now, I think are dangerous. Let's get a roadblock if we can. <laughs> I've heard. I don't know. All right, let me let me shuffle the deck. I shuffle the curses. Okay, I can't really shuffle um, when filming well. Let's take a look. Let's see what we get. Destroy one ring. Destroy one ring. Find a ring and destroy it. You may find any type of ring, but it must be indisputably a ring. That's reasonably hard. Okay, let me look. Let me look at what the furthest place from like a shop would be. Are you ready? I'm ready. So that roadblock is basically a challenge that you're giving your opponents so he can place that in the driving path that they're going through, which presumably is a path that Ben and Adam would have to follow. If they reach that roadblock, then they have to do the task. The only thing I could think of that you could destroy that's a ring is a ring pop. Uh, onion ring's a good one. I don't think bagel is a ring. I think it's not ring shaped. It has to be a ring. Oh, it's a good one. For the next three McDonald's that are visible from the roadway, you must stop there and each team member must eat something. That's brutal. Also yummy. Oh, nice. That's a, that's a good one. I, th I think that's a relatively good roadblock. The best I can tell, if we put it right before Wellsford, I think it seems like the only shops that exist are going to be closed by the time they get there. The only thing I would change here, and obviously, look, there's a lot of people who like backseating the rules of jet lag, and they made this show, and they have agreed upon their rule set. I feel like the moment you pull the card is when you place the card, as opposed to gamifying where you can place your curse card or where you can place your roadblock. Is that your information changes based off what you know of the card after reading it? This one. Okay, so get ready to throw it. Right, right, now. That's a, that's a good one. It, it really slows one. them down. They just roadblocked us. Okay, well, the power-ups are in use now. <laughs> Like Ocean three in early rugby time. Kick a rugby Kick ball. A rugby. That is hard. Wow, that is hard. Kick a rugby ball through the uprights at Centennial Park from 49 feet or 15 meters. I feel like that's tough. That is tough. I, I think most average people could not do that within 10 attempts. Rugby ball through the uprights at Centennial Park. From Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like a, I'm thinking of football, a 20 yard field goal. I think most people couldn't do a distance of at least 49 feet or 15 meters In their podcast. They stated it's encouraged to gamify placement. That makes sense. Team members must alternate attempts. Wellsford rugby club. Okay. I don't see the thing. That's what you can drop kick it. So you can kick it from like the air. Oh, that's different. Oh, that's easier. What I was worried about. If you can punt it, it's a lot easier. Yeah, so bizarrely, this field does not have... Off the ground, drop kicking is actually probably maybe still easier, but pretty hard, actually. Have posts. Okay, so we need to measure this out. We agree with that, Adam. We're just going to visualize it against this. Okay, 10 feet is like just above these things. I put down my wallet as right, so 50 feet back. This we is have to kick it between wallet and post. And Just above, above those little things. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And hopefully we can we can do a virtual virtual overlay thing. Ready? 
Yeah. This is gonna be it. I know it. Good song. Ugh, I need more height. Okay. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> nope. That is, that's, this is, a, this is a tough challenge. This is a tough challenge. You guys are saying nerds. You guys are being haters, but I do think you ask most people to do this, they can't do it. You got to think the average person's not like a sporty 20 to 30 year old, right? The most people are, uh, um, uh, very old kids out of shape, middle-aged people who don't generally do athletics. Like that's most people. I'm not saying they can't, like, they'll probably get this done. I'm just saying, like, your first few attempts would look bad. And I think you have to recognize that's true. I think everyone likes to look at this and be like, hm, yeah, first try, I get it done. But, like, realistically, you're not getting this done first try. Video doll, zero shot. No offense, zero shot. Not even, like, like, like 1%. It's zero shot, buddy. Are they still at Centennial Park? Yes. Okay. I mean, look. I have a better shot punting you 10 feet up than you have that ball. We're only 20 <laughs> minutes behind them. I know, but this roadblock. <laughs> it's just a pick. It depends on how good of a roadblock it is. <laughs> Bro, you're 412, soaking wet. I, what do you want? All right. This is the spot. Okay. We have arrived at... The roadblock. Destroy one ring. Find a ring and destroy it. You may destroy any type of ring, but it must be indisputably a ring. This, uh, this I think we can do. I'm thinking that the best way to do this. Are you allowed to go forward or do you have to go backwards? Is to go to absolutely any convenience store or gas station. Get like a gummy ring. And get a gummy ring. I mean, just head back that way, right? And okay. just like when the Only first back. thing we see. <laughs> Makes sense. Do they sell onion rings at McDonald's? Do we need to start thinking Not about Not in the States. No. Yeah, it's a 45-minute penalty. We can definitely do it in 45 minutes. I don't necessarily agree we can do it in 45 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I love Toby's honesty. We've gotten relatively close. I'll say that I don't think I can do it in 45 minutes, Sam. Okay. This is about your confidence now. I mean... Why not have one person be the... I've gotten not far. I've gotten the height. Or do you have the drop yeah. kick? Should we watch a YouTube video? So he's hit. I think lean forward a little more, right? Get the laces on it. He's hitting it before. Let's try that. Because this Just is a beginner. It straight onto the yeah, because okay. this is a beginner's one. Right. So maybe that'll help. Because he seems to hit it like that. See? That See? was amazing. Wait, wait, is that, that was in. That was that amazing. Was in. That was in. Is that allowed or does it have to hit the ground? Thank you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. Oh man, I was looking bleak for a second. What intonation? Okay, wait, we need to quickly figure out which route we're taking. So at the next intersection, there's a choice of two routes to Auckland. They're approximately the same length, but the east route takes you through Silverdale, where you have to have 30 minutes of fun at the Megazone Arcade, whereas the west route takes you through Helensville, where you have to have 30 minutes of fun at the- I'm seeing both in chat. Helensville laundromat. Okay, so right now, because the traffic, the west route is only, is five minutes. It's, it's five minutes slower, so we should, I guess we should still do the east. We should do the fast route, because there's no advantage to doing the rest route that I'm aware of. Okay, left. I've never watched rugby in my life. Your chat pisses me off. Just close your eyes for a little bit. There it is up there. All right, that looks promising to me. I mean, these are ring-shaped. I mean, they're called burger rings. Yeah, this that's This literally chill. says rings. That is yeah, that's chill. We can yeah, even right. do a snack review with them. Thank you. Okay. Easy peasy. All right. Let's destroy a ring. Super quick snack zone with Ben and Adam. Time to enter the snack zone. 
we're gonna have burger rings. Uh, here's a burger ring. It's indisputably a ring. It's called a ring. I've just destroyed it. You just destroyed it? Okay. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> it seems like it's delicious. Okay. I kind of like it, though. I kind of want a meat-flavored meat flavored snack. They're actually bad? Would you buy TSM? The org? No, I would not. I don't have that money. They have left Wellsford, which is unfortunate, which They've means finally done the drop kick. They must have done the drop kick. We are now going to follow directly behind them, knowing that they are going to clear this. Their LCS spot? <laughs> Still no, I don't have that money. Chat, how much money do you think I have? I That's like $20 million. I'm not close. I'm not close. Mega zone challenge, and we can just pass through without doing it. That way we'll be neck and neck with them. I think we could even probably get them with a nerf gun. You're halfway? I'm not even close to halfway. Ooh. I spend a lot of money. They're following us. Hmm. They're following us. But that means is like they're gonna they're gonna try to shoot us. We need a nerf bullet. Yeah. So a nerf bullet costs 10, and the deal with it is that uh, if we manage to shoot and hit one of them, then they get delayed for 30 minutes. 30 minute freeze. So we're gonna. I have Team Liquid merch because Team Liquid uh, paid me to wear their new Naruto collab, and I think it looks cool. And so I'm sponsored to wear it for the stream. And 10 of our coins. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load this in here. So now we are armed and dangerous. I think they do good merch. We don't have a lot of options other than hoping they don't manage to get us at the mega zone. Yeah. Or that we get them first. Should we consider? I'd love to visit New Zealand. We should consider a roadblock if they're right behind us. Yeah. Should we? Yeah. Shall we? Shall we draw a thing? Another roadblock? Desperate. Oh, I really hope this is good. Perform a handstand unassisted for a total of one minute. Wow. You may string together multiple attempts. Your teammate can help you get into handstand position. That is really hard. That's really hard. Oh, no, it's not good. It's handstand for a minute. It's just really tough to predict how long that'll take. We have a good amount of coins. We could pull another one. We could consider a curse card. If we get lucky with the curse, that could really help us in Auckland. If you if you feel confident about a curse. Let's pull a curse. Let's pull a curse. What's a curse? Okay. How do you ad activate a curse? Let's see. Fingers crossed. That's a lot of coins. During your next challenge, you may only walk forward after rolling a die. Each time you roll a die, you may take the same number of steps as the number you roll. Oh, that is a really good one. I like it. Okay. Every, Every time they walk, they're going to be walking around, around. I know the McDonald's one was a curse, but why didn't the curse activate? How do you activate the curse? Auckland, up mountains. Yeah, that that is actually like as good as it can get. OP, as they say. Gamer. Oh dear. So we are stuck in horrible, horrible traffic. One thing I'll say is that this sort of thing can't happen during a normal board game. That is so true. This almost never happens during Monopoly. Ugh. Yeah, let's find a good spot to drop the handstand one. All right, Ben and Adam, I hope you have fun handstanding. Throw it. Almost never. It's like hilly and stuff. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun handstand spot for them. Sam has thrown down yet another roadblock. Yeah. We're not gonna get to the roadblock tonight. I think it's too far. Okay. Hmm. Little traffic tins. This is the spot. Tomorrow at 8 a.m. we will be right here. Oh, that's it. That was our spot. We will see you tomorrow morning. See ya. Now it's time for the first rest period. If you hadn't noticed, everything you've seen so far in the first three episodes has happened on day one. Every night between 9 p.m. and 8 a.m., the game pauses for 11 hours so the players can find a hotel, take an unreasonably long shower, and get some sleep. Now, here's day two. Here we are. Welcome back. 
to day two. It is 8 a.m. Uh, it's 8. Okay. It's 8. We're good. Let's go. Hey, Ludwig, I've been doing background uh, watching because I'm doing uni prac. Any, uh, anyone saying burger rings are bad are being sacrilegious. I feel like burger rings would be good, but I'm also just a lover of snacks. There's not many snacks I don't like. Oh, okay. Um, I checked the timing. Ben and Adam are 23 I'm minutes behind Knox, okay. all of that traffic that we had last night. It's dissipated, so a lot of our margin is gone. Hopefully, that handstand roadblock will buy us seven minutes of margin. Intense. Okay, here's the roadblock. Adam, are you ready to find out what our roadblock I'm ready, is? I'm worried. Tough one. The handstand one. Oh, oh we can do this. We can do this quickly. Okay, we gotta hurry. Do this as fast as possible. Minute. We're blocking these people's coffee. driveway, but we're gonna hope Wait. that they're chill. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel if like we hurry, then most we can maybe still catch them at the mega zone. There it is, mega zone. It's not very mega. Touch the building, start our time. All right, timer started. Uh, let's start having fun. All right, here we go. So it's probably only gonna be a few seconds at a time. Okay, I think that's maybe. Oh, it's combined one minute. Oh, that makes way more sense. Dude, I thought they had to do a handstand for 60 seconds straight. Oh, one second. One second. <laughs> that was one second. <laughs> We're at two seconds. Uh, 20 questions. Do you have a person? No, no, we're not starting with 20 questions. We're starting with our cookie times. So starter mukbang, we have cookie bake by cookie time, a classic kiwi snack. Would you like to explain anything more? I don't know, cookie time, it's a classic kiwi, uh, kiwi thing. You want a treat, you can have a cookie time. I'm enjoying this. I would even say I'm- Those look like mid-ass cookies. I'm having fun. You wanna play 20 questions? Have you thought of anyone? Yeah, I've thought of someone. Okay. Um, is this person a man? No. Is this person a woman? Yes. Is this uh, person American? No. Is this person from... Apparently I was in a game of 20 questions and they cut me. New Zealand? Yes. Is it Jacinda Ardern? Yes. Okay, well, there we go. Speaking of Ben and Adam, it seems like they're at our roadblock. Oh, our handstand? I think so. But uh, I think they've just got there, so we got to track how long that takes them. That's going to be crucial. They're doing handstands with Riz. Get up there. One Six. again. Honestly, just fucking donkey kick up 60 times in a row. That's going to be a lot of exercise, though. Man, I hate that the noises he makes make me feel like he's about to break. <laughs> Handstands with Riz. Here, let's move over here. Uh, Good one. Yeah, I watched the Schlatt podcast. All right, let's go. Let's go. They seem to have just completed the roadblock. Right, I didn't take them too long. Yeah, I mean, we'll be fine for here. Auckland is going to be tricky. I mean, we knocked that out in one fifteen. Yeah, it's not bad. We're not going to be able to catch them at the mega zone, though. Let's just cruise them now. No, I just got a text. Oh no. We're getting a curse. No, I just said they would be, I cursed myself. Uh, for the next three McDonald's that are visible from the roadway, you must stop there and each team member must eat something. That's so hard. <sighs> They're trying to slow us down, Gabe. That's like a, that's gotta be like a 30 minute additional. So that's not awesome. It's okay, that's all right. I, I think it's fine, we'll get some breakfast. All right. Uh, anyway, we're, we're still having fun, Sam. Mm -hmm. I fucking love Maccas. I think it's my favorite fast food place. Maybe Taco Bell. Okay, they enough. just said completed Mega Zone. Oh, okay. I'm literally a minute from where I would turn off to go to the Mega Zone. Oh my god, they're way closer than I thought they were. So we've only just entered the highway. Taco Bell? Yeah, it's authentic. A few minutes before these guys, so mm -hmm. 
day. They're gonna get us at McDonald's. Two minutes behind them. <laughs> the next three McDonald's is that they see. They gotta stop. They gotta. And we'll be able to fact check them because we'll be looking for. We're going to say. Pinche Taco Bell. <laughs> Way they are. So if we see a McDonald's, they better be stopping at it. Hopefully, before we get to Auckland, we will be able to pass them. And if we pass them, we could throw down roadblocks. We can throw roadblocks. <laughs> so I'm hoping we can pass them after the next McDonald's. Oh my God! They're like. You guys gotta understand. I am Spanish by blood. Okay, my mother's a Spanish teacher. I also speak Spanish. Oblamos right behind us on the motor that they are so, why are they moving faster than us i saw the corner of a little I, oh God, i'm a criminal because my mom's a spanish they're going to talk about how the zipper merge is ethical zipper merge baby we Love need a video about it see they're right, they're right there there is a mcdonald's that will be visible on the right coming up here yeah you can you can see you it can. it's right there you can yeah wait do they not have to do the mega zone challenge because the other team did the mega zone challenge is that how that works Aha! Oh, that is clearly visible. Look at that. Yeah. Show them. I they I showed them. Okay. That is clearly visible from the road. They have to go there and order something, which means that we have not taken the lead. I think I don't. Yeah. No Here we are. Mecca. Spanish isn't French. Did you think I thought they were the same? My mom's a French and Spanish teacher. She does both. She's trilingual. Hey, just two hash browns, please. Yeah, that's it. I don't like their hash browns very Thank much. You. I find them to be a little too greasy. This is good. McDonald's curse, baby. It's a good curse. One of the best ones, really. I don't like them very much. They're very oily. Oh, they're yeah. on the Harbor Bridge right now. Okay. So they're just crossing over this. Harbor. I like Taco Bell. I'm not a criminal for liking Taco Bell. Their cheesy gordita crunches are yummy, and they have a lot of yummy crunch to it. What do you want? I like it. It tastes yummy. Uh, I like McDonald's. Okay. Harbor in front of us. Should I we, like um, it. Give them the news. Let's give them the news. I don't think they're gonna like this. Shuffling our roadblocks and then we're gonna just pull one. Maybe we use it, maybe we don't, but it's we'll good, good to have. Again, the more, you know, if we can slow them down just like another 10 minutes, yeah, it'd be huge for us. Huge. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, they've just cursed us. Really? What's the curse? Uh oh. What is it? During your next challenge, you may only walk forward after rolling a die. That's gonna slow us down. No, 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 That's no, no. Okay. Yeah. The reason Adam's so upset is because this is the Auckland challenge. Destroy five rings at five volcanoes. Acquire five rings of any kind. Starting at the Sky Tower, both team members must go to the top of five different volcanoes and destroy a ring. You must include at least one volcano from three different basalts. Creativity is encouraged in ring acquisition. Anything that could reasonably be considered a ring counts. Oh, but... Are they actually volcanoes? Oh, we're f I guess islands have a lot of volcanoes. We still got we are absolutely f still ahead. We most of these we don't have to walk here. No, I know. Some of them I we know. don't have to. And walk. we can roll the dice really quickly. We need to have our nerf gun ready to go. Oh god, they're probably gonna be able to shoot us. Here we go. Um, can we talk about a self-defense bullet? I think we, yeah, I mean, probably should get one, yeah. I think we should just buy one. We've got 10 coins, right? Yeah, and now's the time we'll want it on hand, yeah. I want to buy one. <laughs> to load up one of these. Sheesh. Is this parking here for this like shopping center? This seems fine. All right, so we're starting with the dice now. One, three, 
or so. No f so with the gun, you pull this back right to load. <laughs> yeah, so we should have it cocked, basically. I hate to be a hater. I have zero confidence in anybody in this game to be able to shoot somebody with a gun successfully. Unless it's point blank and they can't move for some reason. Right now for this. Okay, Alright, you want to get us? The bullet. Okay, parking. We're coming into the car park. If you shoot someone with a nerf gun successfully, I think they have to like freeze for like 30 minutes. Alright, ready? Ready to rumble? We, we don't want them to see. I'm strapped. Shoot! <gasps> Americans. This is the Sky <laughs> Tower. So we can go to that convenience store over there. Two. Oh my God. Two. No. Five. It doesn't seem that slow. Six. Four. Five. Six. Or, oh, burger rings. I think it's just going to have to be burger rings. Burger rings. I mean, burger rings. Burger rings or rings. Okay. okay. And one, two, load three, this. four. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a little game with our friends here. One. Jesse <laughs> shoves a gun in his body. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, here's, no, here's what I think we should do. I think we should go hide at the Sky Tower and try to shoot them because we know they have to go there and that's our only shot at winning. What do you think? Should we go after them or? Okay. Yes. Let's okay, but you have to shoot. Let's at least see if we can spot them. Monka? I think they're across the street. I think they probably already are buying stuff. Let's, let's tap the Sky Tower to start the challenge. Yeah. So we just rolled a six. We need to use our six steps, try to get them. And he's he's close. I mean, he's right around the corner of the block. Oh, there he is, there he is. You see him? There he is, yeah, I see him. I mean, this is our chance, this is our chance. There, we started. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're going to complete this in 30 minutes. We should hunt them down. We're biking on a highway. Just stay to the left. There he is. There he is. That's them. Uh, Why are they going that way? Oh, it's moist. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's a bit of cheese. We are at the top of a volcano. What the freak? All right, give me episode two. Give me episode two, baby. Come on, or episode five. Hello. We got the next step ready to go. I've stacked two back to back. Hello, back to back. Hello and welcome back to episode four of our race to the All bottom. Right, episode two of the day. It's episode four total. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Uh, I actually, what time is it? I should let my dog go out pee actually. So I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly hit you with their advertisement and then I'll be right back. So good time to get water, go pee. There, we started. I don't think they're going to complete this in 30 minutes. We should hunt them down. We're biking on a highway. Just stay to the left. There he is. There he is. That's them. Uh, Why are they going that way? Oh, it's moist. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's a bit of cheese. We are at the top of a volcano. God, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I, I don't know if it's the stress or all the burger rings. Yeah, probably both. All that and more next week on Jetlag, unless, of course, you're a Nebula subscriber because every single episode of Jetlag is up one week early on Nebula. And next episode, uh, next episode, I, I don't even know. I mean, it's, it's one of those episodes where I think we were like genuinely worried because there's one moment in particular that is just so unbelievable that we don't even know how we're gonna convince y'all that it's not scripted. It's it's 100% not, but it's it's it's, like, it, I remember that was our primary concern yeah, after it happened. I don't, yeah. I don't know how, but it, it, next episode really is something, and I can't wait for y'all to see it. And of course, but you can see it right now if you head over to Nebula, um, because again, we put every single episode there one week early. In appreciation of the fact that our Nebula subscribers, they basically fund this show. They don't um, basically fund. No, the show. They, literally, they literally, they literally the do. Show. Like literally, all the revenue for the show is from Nebula subscribers. Um, uh, but uh, there's even more than just next episode up early. Like for example, our Nebula exclusive companion podcast, The Layover, where every week we get together, we break down with the episode Toby. with Toby. With Toby. Answering y'all's questions. We break down the episode, we answer your questions, we get into the strategy, the nitty gritty. So if you're wondering about anything with this last episode, and there's a lot to break down, 
you can go listen to our Nebula exclusive companion podcast. And, and again, keep in mind, that's Nebula exclusive. So that is not a one week early thing. You can only get that if you're subscribed to Nebula. And Nebula has so much more than just our podcast. There's a ton of originals from other creators. We've made a bunch of originals that I imagine will pop up now. Um, Brian and Joseph, former Jet Lag guests, both have original series on Nebula. There are Nebula First videos where creators put their videos up early exclusively on Nebula. And most importantly, when you subscribe to Nebula, you're supporting the show. The only way that this show is able to exist is because of our Nebula subscribers. We actually get a portion of your subscriptions every single month for the entire time that you are subscribed to Nebula. But only if you sign up at our link, nebula.tv slash jet lag. And you please, gotta use yeah, our please link. Please use our link, especially because it's it's good for you. It's good for us, of course, because we just said, and also good, very good for you because you get $20 off the annual subscription. Um, so you, this is so much value packed into one. Early jet lag episodes, exclusive layover podcast, uh, exclusive originals by other creators, uh, uh, ad free and early access to videos by other creators. Um, it's really good deal and help support us. So make sure to uh, sign up at nebula.tv slash jet lag. Slash jet lag. Slash that jet important. lag. And uh, thank you to Manage your support and goodbye made it just in time zealand just as a refresh hello and welcome back to episode four of our race to the bottom of new zealand just as a refresher the highway system has been turned into a board game players have to clear challenges to progress and power-ups can be used to sabotage the other team right now both teams are in auckland competing to see who can complete the auckland challenge and claim its massive reward first Toby and I were feeling good about our chances because we had just cursed Ben and Adam with a devastating walking curse where they have to roll a die every time they want to take a step. But the tables turned at the end of the last episode where Ben and Adam managed to hit us with their nerf gun before we could claim any volcanoes, freezing us at the sky tower for 30 minutes while they were free to roll their way to victory. Dave. Dave, I'm sorry. I know I told you about my mother. She turned 58 today. She's currently watching. Could you wish her a happy birthday? Her name is Janet Robinson. Happy birthday, Janet. 58, that's a that's a cool number. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy me reacting to YouTube content. I don't have anything cooler planned for right now, Janet. So hopefully that does it on this Friday evening. Yes! All right, hurry, hurry. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six. six. Roll it. <laughs> They look so fucking weird walking around like that. It cl I was sure they were buying stuff because it showed them across. It showed them right in that building. Damn. I, Overconfidence. I, uh, well, let's... Feels birthday man's in chat. See, we touched. We got shot. They ran away. One, two, three. You want to get scooters and go to the first volcano? Yeah, I think that might okay. be fastest. Okay, so here's how... The Hold up, I have to order food chat. I don't know what I want to order. I am debating a little of El Pollo Loco. Maybe I just get Taco Bell and I'd be a dirty little bastard. I could be a dirty little Taco Bell eater right now. I could a little mm, mm, Taco Bell in me. Burger rings? If only. If only. Bit of Maccas? Taco Bell is a little too, and it's a little too raw. I want to get something that's more authentic. So they have Chipotle or <laughs> that one's that one's better, right? Like that one's come on video doll. Give me that Chipotle. <laughs> Give me that at least. The Auckland challenge works. Auckland is built on a large volcanic field consisting of 53 volcanoes. We have to travel to the top of five of them, spread across at least three different basalts, which are these blobby regions here, and then destroy a ring each time, Lord of the Rings style. The closest volcano to the Sky Tower is this one here, Albert Park, which is where Ben and Adam are headed first. One, two, three, four, five. So this is Hobson. We have to go this way. Okay, you lead the way. Gonna learn from experience. And they then. somehow they knew exactly the right one to be. How in. smart are they? Yeah. Dang. I guess they figured out we would come How from that direction. How did they know we were coming to this pylon? There's I mean, like they must have known we were pylons. coming from that way. So. We're not walking. Bye. That's a little cheeky. I don't think you're allowed to bike on the sidewalk. Which way? Which way? One more block. I think that's another Uber bike up there, Ben. Let's switch to it. 
You okay? You okay? You okay? Whoa, whoa. Cooper you okay? Bike? Yeah. Start by going downhill. Yeah. You got it? No. <laughs> Tell me they know how to ride a bike. So we have to get to the top of the volcano. Probably unlikely to be able to complete this challenge before them unless we go on the offensive now. So I think when this is done, we should hunt them down. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the top. Yeah. I right, so bet the fountain's the Dude, middle. New Zealand's so pretty. How's the weather in New Zealand? Do the summers get miserable or is it always nice? Let's go there. The one ring. We are at the top of a volcano. Does it snow? Volcano. Okay, that's one down. Okay, it where doesn't, is the right? next one? I think we should bike as much as we can. It's a nine minute bike. I think that. Yeah, that's worth it for sure. It's definitely worth it. Taking a right here. Summers are hot, winters are cold. So it looks like they're at Albert Park, which is presumably their first volcano. Well, they've been at Albert Park for a while, and they're, I think, on those bikes. I think they've done one volcano of the five. Yeah, they're going impressive. down. I wonder if they're going to Grafton now. On a bike, do you think? Yeah. yeah. They could be on the bike. You can't want, to, want us to go through that bridge. Can you take Cutie on a vacation to Japan? No. She would hate that flight. If I take Cutie on a vacation, it has to be within driving distance. Planes are her 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 nemesis. We get all seasons in one day. She can it. Just stay to the left. Which oh, way? This is it. My Holland College is oh, an entire week dedicated Welcome to Welcome to bikes. Grafton. This is a neighborhood in Auckland that was just paved over a volcano. So we're gonna destroy another ring. Good Sorry. to know. Sorry. That's volcano number two, and the next one is only three minutes away. Oh, really? Follow me. Wait, wait. If you're gonna walk the bike, I have to roll the dice for you. All right. You can take five steps. One, two. So is this like a big challenge they both have to do? Because the other challenges, it felt like only one team had to do it. But is this the is the Auckland challenge like everyone's got to do the Auckland challenge? This is the Auckland domain. I guess let's go to the middle. Saving up a hundred coins oh. to skip a challenge so just seems worse. It seems that there's no more path to the top, and we don't want to bike on the grass. That seems rude. We're gonna have to roll. Okay. Okay. Six. One, Love it. Two, three, four. Do you have the burger rings? Oh no. Roll. Three. Well, what we should do is complete the curse. Once we're done with the freeze, just run to two McDonald's quickly, because that'll free us up to follow them, right? Three, two, one, and we're free. OK. All right, here we are, McDonald's. So that looks like Yeah, I mean, bagels are definitely rings. We can use both ends, so I think we only need three. So we'll get New York, New York City Benedict Bagel? Three Benedict Bagels. Can you remove some of the ingredients? Yeah, same change. Oh, that's just bread. <laughs> Thank you. Bag secure. OK. Five. Oh, four. Bagels aren't rings. I guess they're close. Three, four, six. Great work. They're using they're using the bagel as the ring to destroy because you have to destroy a ring. Interesting. Okay, I'll destroy this ring. Is this tree? I'm conflating. There's another challenge that says the item you have to destroy has to clearly be a ring, and I think this one's more vague, so anything that is ring-like is okay. But the former challenge was like it's got to be a ring, and this one I think it's like you can get creative. So I think it's I was conflating. It seems significant. It's framed. I I hope I think that's some significance. Maybe we'll put that up on screen. That's volcano number three. Three, three, five. Okay, here we go. Six. Gorgeous. If they arrive at the Auckland domain now, it looks like it'll take them a good while to get back here where presumably their car is. So I think we'll have time to do Albert Park, run back to the Sky Tower, hopefully find a way to cut them off. Let's just track them almost constantly and our, chance, our plan's gonna change. Yeah. Depending on if we think they're close. I love donuts. Enough to yes. catch. 
Got it. Okay, looks like that's the center up there. Ready? Hello, I'm live. Oh, are you live? I'm live, I'm streaming. Uh, shoot, I'm walking to my car, and I have like a few blocks in downtown LA to walk, so I was hoping to be on the phone with someone. You can be on the phone with me. Is that okay? Sure, you just have to talk to my chat too. Hi chat, I'm being, I'm being scary, I put my hood up, that way no one will approach me. Cause it's dark, you know? Yeah, you, so you, you're, they're more scared of you than you are of them. Yeah, and I don't have my pepper spray on me, but I'm whispering that so they don't know. They don't know that I don't. And you I put said my you have large amounts of pepper spray? <laughs> yeah. And is that a gun it. you bought? Yeah. Clever. It is. Thank you. Thank you. You have to look organized. I, I am organized. Okay, that's good. Oh, unless I forgot my keys. No, I have my keys. Okay. Yeah, my purse was inside my jacket. I look tough. I look confident. Great. If worst case, worst case, you have to plan ahead. If someone touches me, I act uh, possessed. No, leave me. I, I just start talking in tongues. Okay, sure. Do you think you have that in you? Uh, absolutely. Okay, I respect that. I start barking and drooling, and they're like, "Whoa, yeah, whoa, that is Lucifer's lady. I better leave her be." Barking, I think, would be stressful for sure. Well, I could do it. So I've got no doubt in my mind. Well, I just let Swift out. He went pee. I have to pee actually so bad. Um, that's bad because you're headed to a car, not to a bathroom. Yeah, it is. Could squat in a corner. No one runs up on someone peeing who's squatting in a corner. That's actually true. So I don't know if that is true. I just said that out loud. For some reason, I was like, why is it so dark outside? I was wearing my sunglasses like an idiot. That's bad. I'm going to get it. I'm gonna be approached. I also just got afraid because I walked past the bus stop and then this guy also started walking. He was waiting at the bus stop and then as soon as I walked by, all of a sudden he was walking behind me. But then I took a turn I didn't need to take in case he followed me. He didn't follow me, so now I have to go back. It's hard to be a woman. I don't know if you ever think about these things. No, you know what? I think the opposite. Sometimes I'm walking and it's people look behind and they look at me and I'm like, I hope they don't think I'm following them. I'm just walking. <laughs> Yeah. So sometimes I like try to walk faster so I can pass them so I'm not behind them. And so I'll walk thought, really loudly with heavy steps behind them to get by them. Oh, I thought I just heard someone. I thought I got, I got a block left. Downtown LA is a scary place, you know? Downtown LA is not very, very nice. There's only like one block oh. or two blocks that are like. So, well, there's a church where oh. I'm at and there's a few homeless people on the steps. I have to walk past this church. They're vibing. One of them's yelling. <laughs> vibing. Okay. They're just trying to sleep somewhere. They won't bother you. Uh, okay. You got this. I got this. I got this. I'm getting closer to them. Don't walk faster. We'll think you're chasing us. No, because I yell. I go, hey, I'm not chasing you. Got about uh, 600 more feet. All right. I think. Counting down. I can see my car. Did you eat food? Homeless person was about to approach me. Oh, fuck. It's a woman. Okay, I could take her if I need to. Okay. I respect that. Okay. I'll use like the thing from Miss Congeniality. So solar plex, instep, nose, groin, sing. I think that applies less to women. Okay, well. But the barking, you always okay. got that. Got to my car. There's no one underneath it. No one's gonna slice my Achilles. Gotta check the back seats. No one's in them. Okay. How's the trunk? Get in the car. Close the door. And walk. We've done it successfully. We have landed. <sighs> Thank you. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, love see you, you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Ma, 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 easy clap. I mean, that might have been an episode of jet lag in its own right. That daring escape. To answer Ludwig's question, the Auckland Challenge is currently blocking the pathway forward. So someone has to complete it for anyone to move on, but it's the same system as all challenges. Once one team completes it, the path will be clear for both teams. 
We're just both racing to do it first because we're there at the same time and don't want the coin reward you get for completing challenges. Only one team can get that reward because one team, yeah, it's removed from the board. Rooting for cutie to make it to court. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. You didn't say it back. I did. What? I literally said it. You rip it in half. You don't want to eat it? We rip half okay. each. Okay. There. Okay. Then back. Okay. So back up towards the sky tower to hopefully cut them off. Mm -hmm. So I think the key is going to be to figure out where their car is. Then we can maybe find a spot, like a hidden spot, at the entrance to the car park or something. Um, oh, if we could wait by their car and find it, that would be amazing. And we have to route back to the car now. Oh, we do? Yeah, because the other ones are too far away. That sucks. There's not one that's closer to here? No. We've, you've checked the map, you're sure? They mapped this out terribly. Okay, Oak, let's go to the car. Here we go. We're biking on a highway. I respect it. This is what the map said to do. I don't love this, but we're going to make it through. It looks like a bike lane. And it's going to be OK. How many do you think they have? I have no clue. Chat, you sound like crazy people right now. There's some holist behavior going on. I wonder if there's any other car parks. We didn't see them when we drove into the car park. Do you think we should look in this car park? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing. We're not that far. We're doing good. Okay, let's get on to the... Damn, this and above looks like it could be straight out of Japan. Especially this, like, Padoga, Pagoda uh, building. Sidewalk. We turn. We are off the highway. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. Damn. That sucks. Let's check the tracker. Yeah, they're not, not far at all. Yeah, they're just blocks away. Anyway, I guess they're coming from this way. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is unlikely, but we might, we might as well try. Here, let's hide around the entrance to that. Can you just check where they are? Uh, not right now. Okay, fair enough. No. Uh, you can just bike past them, right? Blow past them. I think this is a great park, uh, hiding spot. Okay, they're right. Let's see if I can see. I think we want to go one. Well, no, actually, let's go this way. Oh, we got, there he is, there he is. Sorry. <laughs> they're, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. There it is, the sky tower. Yeah, yeah. I got you, for sure, for sure, 100%. Oh, he got you? Start the timer. OK, they're frozen. Let's go. Let's go. Bye, kids. Bro, how are you guys going to dry peek every corner? Use any amount of util. Jiggle the corner. Get some sort of vision. You're just going in blind, and you're going to get shot. <laughs> Such a worked. bad okay. clear. Um, so Grafton Volcano next, right? Yeah, picking up where they left off. It costs you rounds. It'll cost you the game. They just did. And then seeing who can get the rest. We hadn't looked at where they were. We knew there was a possibility, but we just, we, we were, were, we were, we were on a highway. We, also, we, just, we were, were literally biking along a highway. We also didn't think that he'd be able to get us while we were on bikes, but he's a sharpshooter. I think down? We, we were on something like this. That's valuable time! Bye. I don't know how many volcanoes they got. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know what that pump drink is, but it looks so good. It can't have been that many. Maybe none. I don't fuck with power I think we're still right. in it. We're definitely still in it. We only have two more to go. 
they should both be pretty easy. Well, because the thing is, they not Bakari only sweats great. had a 30 minute wait, they must have waited here for a while. It's just water? Nah, it's lame. I think we're definitely still in this. I like liquid IV. Okay, we're just above. We just need to run down like that road, like 20 meters. All right, let's go, let's go, go, go. This would be in it, yeah. All right. <laughs> just fight. People wonder what everyone thinks. You have 12 minutes to go. Top. Well, the second the 12 minutes is up, we'll bike as close to the car as we can. Yeah. Then we'll roll dice to walk to the car. Liquid IV has too much sugar. Isn't that fine though? It's like an energy recovery drink. Then we're going to do Mount St. John. And then we have to go to one more basalt, so we have to go a little, a little yeah, east. A little Rangatoto. Okay, great. John. Parking is going to be hard for them. That's part of why we did bikes, but maybe we're overestimating the difficulty of parking. We'll just see. I think it's pretty neck and neck right now. Fish right. So you're 100% sure about no McDonald's on the way to Rangitoto? No. You're not? No, I'm, I, I checked and there oh, okay. wasn't any on what was the direct route on okay. go uh, to the right. Three, two, ready? one. Here we go. Okay, let's put them like here. Okay, five. Love it. Three, four, five. All right, we're still very much in this. I love their car. Let's book it. Oh, it's moist. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's a bit of cheese. Oh, they are driving. They had just Already. left the city there on Hobson Street. Right. Um, I think it's pretty much go, go, go is the approach right now. Yeah. We're not going to go to Mount St. John. We're just looking at that. It's pretty tall. It's tall and we're and too slowed down with, right with the dice. So we're going to go to one that's a little further called Tipu Hawiki, which Nailed is a little that. out of the way, but it's seemingly just another, like, a neighbor, like, a neighborhood. It's like a volcano that got flattened. Uh, yes, which is allowed, is specifically allowed. So this one should be easier for us to yeah, totally. do quickly. Just tune, what are you doing? We're watching jet lag. It's a game show. It's like Amazing Race. OK, so this volcano is at the intersection of uh, Cecile Road and Epsom. So we actually won't have to even Avenue. walk at all. No, we can just get right out of the car and do it. OK, yeah. so it's, this is Epsom up here. It's this intersection. All right. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Two. Why are they walking so far? Six. Oh, they have to go to the intersection? OK, this this is good? Yeah, okay. so this, inter I mean, right here, this is we're on top of a volcano. Destroy the ring! Bottoms. There you go. Let's get going. Volcano come on, come on. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Little rangy toto. Perfect on parking. I think probably right here, right? Oh yes, we're we're in. Yeah, that that's the zone right there. All right, let's just run right in, right out. Okay. You're the reason I have an unhealthy super auto pets addiction. Good game to have an addiction to. Done. Okay. okay what do you think now? Are we Let's team Ben and Adam? I need, I need one more minute to look. I'm team underdog, and right now Ben and Adam are the underdogs. But I, I think at the end, I, 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 it's hard. It's hard. Can, before you drive, can I just? That's that's where we've just done. That's a crater in the ocean. We can't go there. That's where I want to go, Mount Hobson. Uh, Mount Hobson. It's just all down to how fast we can get up it, I guess. Yeah. There are a couple blocks behind us. It's a small yes. park. Okay. I think we need a Nerf bullet. Okay. We're going to arm ourselves. Spend it out of one last. Spend 10 coins on another Nerf bullet because it looks like we might be going for the same last volcano. Yeah. We are loading a bullet into the gun. Just in case. This is what Mount Hobson looks like. 
Yeah. If we park in there, it might be steep, but we might get to the top. Yeah, it's just going to be a run. It might be really steep. Well, too late to change now. It's too late to change. That's them. Wait. I don't watch enough uh, to reverse that. Why are they going that way? It's fair. Do you think that's the entrance? Yeah. Sorry. Go, go, go. <laughs> you didn't park, Sid. You didn't park, Sam. I did parking brake. Let's go. Let's you, two don't, you put on Doesn't the e-brake and drive. All we have to do is focus on our volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where they're going. Focus on your volcano. I mean, we're five minutes away, so I mean, it's, I, I mean. Ben. You locked the car, but it's a problem for me. Go, 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 go. Lock. <laughs> Oh, my God, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I, I don't know. know if it's the stress or all the burger rings. <laughs> yeah. Probably both. Probably both. Okay. Once this car goes. This is the park. This is the park up here. I'm just going to park behind these people. Go, go, go. Roll the dice, baby. Sorry. Sir, thank Roll you, the 16. Further. Redacted, thank you. It's right over there. Sam's got boundless energy. Uh, this is GG. One, two, three. Okay, it's just up Six. that hill. One, two, three, four, five. Bagel, done. Texting, texting, texting. Three, four, oh, f oh. oh, Destin. That was amazing. I can't believe we pulled that off. I can't believe there wasn't another McDonald's. <sighs> Oni, thank you for okay. the uh, membership. We, uh... I don't leave jet lag in an ambulance. I haven't tried hard enough. <laughs> really? Oh, sorry. There's a playground there. I'm so sorry. Wait, does that mean they still have to do the die roll on the next challenge? No. No. Why am I disappearing? That's literally, I mean, Ben, that's literally maybe 45 seconds. It was there. If we got there, we would have won. Yeah, we did. Ben said that they were 50 feet from the summit. Oh. So the run was worth it. That was really tight. Oh my God. I knew it was because when I was running up, I just knew it was close. And I was so suffering. But I yeah, thought the, the last thing it. I want is to lose this by like a second. That was so devastating that it seems like it was staged. Oh, okay. Dice left is curved. Yeah, okay. 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 Literally, okay. literally, literally like 50 feet. I can't. I just, I know that sometimes people are like, oh, they stay on this show. That is <laughs> Thank absolutely you, Jack what just happened to us. Okay, we got to get to the stupid goddamn gate. <laughs> that sucks, Ben. They're so behind in money now. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. So we are off. Um, so we do still have to stop at one more McDonald's, but they have a slightly cheeky, but it was uh, designed this way to be a little feet? cheeky. Ben and Adam are not allowed to pass through the next gate until we do. So there's a McDonald's on the way to the highway. Oh, okay, before the gate. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to stop sad. at that one. Um, so we'll complete that and then we'll be down to Hamilton. Dang. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm just, and this is such a horrible thing to do, but I'm just imagining in my head like, like any number of things that had we done them 30 seconds faster. Yeah. It's like, even if we had rolled better numbers. I think their biggest mistake was going for the bikes to do the volcanoes, recognizing the bikes weren't the play, and then switching to car. If they had carted it all the way through, I think they win. On the dice. That Hamilton is the worst place in New Zealand. Damn, why is everyone so... Holy shit, you guys fucking hate Hamilton. Where did this come from? Everyone just suddenly ripped up Hamilton, New Zealand, like it's the fucking backwater town where COVID, you know sprouted amongst every other venereal disease and fucking death is a plenty food is lacking love is lost what is there anything good about it can we have some positivity for my hamiltons that's what we call i'm genuinely content. like shell shocked 
It's the chlamydia capital? What? What? Because they have koala bears and they're passing around the clap? Maybe shell-shocked is an inappropriate word to use for how I'm feeling. I'm just shocked. I'm regular shocked. No, I would say that we suffer as much as uh, soldiers do. For me, soldiers, jet lag contestants, pregnant jet lag contestants. Thank you. Mac and cheese bite review. Sounds yummy. I'm a little whelmed. Well, they've just passed through the gate. They've passed through the gate, so we can go through it now. Now the roads diverge, and they diverge quite a bit. We are approaching Hamilton. Our place will come back this year for sure. Things deviate, so they don't have we have got to decide. Okay, here we reach one of the biggest route divergences on the map. But before I explain it to you, let me tell you why making it through this next region first is so important. As you may have noticed, New Zealand has two islands connected. This is going to be a long ass game. Wait, we're four episodes deep. We're a quarter of the way through, if that. This has to be like a 20 episode series. Am I, am I right? I was pregnant in episode season one, so that's accurate. Real hero. Did by a ferry. Whichever team gets here to Wellington first and completes its challenge will earn tickets on a ferry two hours and 45 minutes earlier than the other teams. It's a huge advantage. Now let's talk about this divergence. It starts with a simple choice, east or west. The east side leads to two options. Normally it would be three, but this road, and therefore this route, shut down for maintenance today. Of the remaining options, this one's faster, but you have to knit and make cheese. This route's slower, but all you have to do is zorb and go to a hot spring. If you he, he just says Zorb so casually. You really want to get ahead, you could go west, but it's a bargain. You can unlock what's by far the fastest route, but only by completing a difficult challenge, Milk Pong. You only have five attempts to throw a ping pong ball into a solo cup full of milk from eight feet. If you can't, vetoing isn't an option for this one, so the road stays locked and you're forced onto a much longer route with several difficult challenges. Oh, you only get five shots. That's kind of hard. I think that's kind of hard. I think I get there. I don't know if I do it in five, though. The last shot's a tough shot to hit. So, as is often the case, teams must decide just how much risk they're willing to bear. I'm a bit, I'm a bit on the fence between the two options. Uh, I genuinely have no idea what we should do. I mean, Milk Pong is... That's that's tough. That's risky. That's very risky. I kind of have faith in Ben and Adam's ability to milk pong. I don't know. The milk pong thing is so nerve wracking. It scares the hell out of me. The milk pong is sort of Never like mind. a Hail Mary route, and we don't need a Hail Mary. We're right behind. No, but if they go east, I'm also really scared to follow behind them. Because they have a lot of power ups and they can slow us down with roadblocks. We could both you're not a lot of gun in at 100 miles an hour east so there's there's a route going east that that does this zorb track that's what i would predict that they would do and so we could go around the other way but there are two pretty challenging things that we would have to do it's faster but we would have to knit a square and we would have to make cheese you know how to knit right i can do the knitting okay it's, we just didn't get materials it's actually just the cheese it's actually an an easy trip except for the cheese I don't think they'll do that route because I don't think they know how to knit. And I don't really want them following us. Should we, okay, should we lock it in? Should so they can't, we, they can't overtake. They have to follow yeah, the speed I'm, limit. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. You're not a lot of like, yeah, and so, a catch up by Hamilton. going fast and furious on the highway. If we want to go there. We're not trying to break uh, laws. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we are in the lead that's no fun well i think it actually is infinitely more fun like i understand the logic that it would be more fun maybe if you sped around but like i think the fun is gamifying and strategizing and if you were able to get a lead from good strategy and then someone else just fucking fast and furious tokyo drifts to beat you that's kind of lame they got to the decision point they stopped those cobwebs are huge this got a, they're so big do they know driving around in hamilton yeah so we passed them which means that they've now left open 
what we believe is the best route through this region. Um, it includes the Zorb track, which yes. is our next challenge. We just got to Zorb quick. We do have to do a very quick Zorb. Zorbing? We have to do one of the quickest Zorbs anyone's ever seen. Complete a Zorb track. At least one team member must complete any track available at Zorb. Zorb, by the way, is a thing where you roll down a hill in a big inflatable ball. Why is it called Zorb? No idea. There's no way they say it's Zorbenton. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are now on our way out of Hamilton. We're making it to T Rounds, our first stop. Oh, God bless. Fuck Hamilton. Oh. It's a square in front of a giant metal sheep. T Rao is well known for its giant metal sheep. In this challenge, teams must knit a square of at least two inches by two inches in front of the sheep. Looks like the boys are going up. They go, they're not in? going to T Rao. They've passed the junction. So they're going to the Zorb route? Going to the Zorb, yeah. I, right. I would personally, I would love to Zorb, but I don't think that it's the right move here because all of their slowdowns yesterday seemed to be to go to places like Zorbing. Zorb, 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 this is not a scene that would be in The Sopranos. They don't Zorb. Oh, it's very pretty up here. That's so little Blue show, everybody. Beautiful. Hey, Zorb, It's like we're in Isles or something. Wow. It is fucking pretty, huh? The trees are pretty cool. Damn. We're going to Zorb the fastest anybody's ever Zorbed in their fucking life. I respect the confidence. So I guess neither team's doing milk. We plum. go down there, and then they send you up to Zorb. Welcome to T Rao. How's the oh, car wait, thievery I, rate I in New oh, Zealand? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty There's giant. A dog and a sheep. We safe? There it is. We San Francisco? Yeah, I gotta say that is the. Uh, we Japan? That is the largest sheep that I've seen. Do you want a tutorial? I want, I want, I okay, want the fastest the, possible. The first step is I have to cast on the stitches. Good luck, Adam. Okay, this actually is more frightening than I expected. Here we go. Ooh. Yo, there's water in the Zorbs? It's Zorbing time! It looks fun or terrifying. Just snitting last couple of stitches here. My handy pink little pocket knife. And then... All right, quick measure. Little jellyfish. We want at least two inches by two inches. Easy, oh, by far. More than enough. All right. Nicely done, that was so efficient. How do you pick knitting over zorbing? Speed. I think this route the road's is definitely the shorter. way to go. They're probably bumbling about, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah, zorbing! Oh my well, god. <laughs> Adam really seems like he's struggling in his zorb. Get out of the Zorb! Get out of the Zorb! How does the water uh, stay in the Zorb? Zorb. Zorb. Yeah! Stop asking if I can verify if there's two inches. Totally Inappropriate. In let's get out of here. All right, let's keep going. Let's go make cheese. Make cheese in front of the largest cheese factory. At the Fonterra Cheese Factory, the largest cheese factory in the Southern Hemisphere, make at least one marble's worth of cheese. So it turns out, uh, apparently, make. I don't know how the fuck to make cheese. 
I watched one episode of Silver Spoon where they made cheese. That's all I know. Making cheese is easier than it's I milk. would have thought. Um, milk. It takes a long time. Milk and vinegar to make a kind of homemade cottage cheese. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so the the broad steps Normal cheese are is to like boil months. some milk, and then once it's hot, adding vinegar to it, and that should like straight away start this kind of reaction of the curd separating from the whey. For normal right. cheese. Here's a gas station. Okay. What is a marble of cheese? Oh, like vinegar? the yeah. amount of oh, yeah. Perfect. cheese that is equivalent to the size of a marble. Thank you. Okay, extremely quick Zorb. I love the Zorb. He tried Zorb off so fast. Was awesome. We had a great time. I can't been. believe that they decided instead of Zorbing. Bar Brady, your energy's not wanted today. Make cheese. Show me a little respect. Okay, I think I see it. Oh, I, I see, see it. I see it. Big white building. Horizon. All right, let's hope that they have a cheese making zoom. Yeah, let's just pull off here. This is a perfect spot here. Actually made for us. And, and this is the cheese this making seems spot. It's almost like it's a designated It is the designated spot. cheese making it's spot. Just a... All right, this should be good to go. Uh, let's see their cheese making abilities. All right, that is on. So I don't I don't think we should put too much. I actually worked out that if you put 50 mils of milk, it would be two milliliters of um, milk. Okay, I have no idea what 50 mils is. I'm going to just cover the bottom basically. <laughs> So I, I, I turn, oh, once yeah, it starts boiling, minutes. I turn it off, right? And then yeah. pour it in and then start stirring. Yeah. It's almost boiling. It doesn't have to be fully dry. Hope the day gets better, Barb Ready. Oh, it's a new day tomorrow. So our next challenge is actually sort of a fun little joke about how the other round involves making cheese. Eat cheese at a relaxing hot spring. Nice. The team must visit and spend 20 minutes That's in Kerosene a lot of time. Creek, where both team members must eat a piece of cheese and say, gee, I sure I'm glad I'm not making cheese right now. Okay, we're we're having a little bit of trouble finding cheese because this city is laid out in a really confusing way. Yeah, we were on the wrong side of the highway, but there's a median, and then we tried to get on the other side, and then we couldn't, and it was a whole Lorraine, mess. thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate oh, it's you. already curdling. You see that? Oh, that's yeah, perfect. It's, it's perfect. Oh, man, that was so easy. I mean, we definitely have a marble worth of that, and that's what it was about. See that? That's cheese. Eat it, then. There, just have a little bite. Eat a marble's worth. Cut to Toby suffering from food yeah, poisoning. Yeah, actually legit. I don't know, that looked yucky. All right, let's... I love cheese, I, I wouldn't trust that really shit. Really quick, I think way quicker than um, this challenge was expected to be. And Sam and Toby are are on the move once again. Really? Which means that um, they made cheese pretty quickly. I thought that would be almost impossible. Turns out it's really easy to make cheese. That's kind of cool. Uh, not cool for us, though. No. It's fine. We need to relax and enjoy kerosene cream. <laughs> relax and enjoy kerosene. Why is everyone Munka W okay, and kerosene and cream? Seemingly are just leaving Rotorua, which is um, basically where the Zorb track is. So they're on their way to that springs that they have to chill in for a while. What is kerosene uh, creek? So we're basically neck Why are we and neck scared? in terms of how far, in terms of like latitude. Okay. Uh, but they have to stop, so hopefully that buys us enough time to do the Hookah Falls challenge. And we've done both of our challenges on this. Yeah. Round. It is not a creek of kerosene. Here we are. The two cheese selection. Well, that's as many. No, it's a three. The three cheese selection. Great. That's as many cheeses as we need, certainly. Okay. Yeah. All right, Kerosene Creek. Okay, here we are. Kerosene. Here we go. Yep, Kiwi here. It's a creek of kerosene. It's actually very lovely here. Oh, oh, that rock. Well, I sure am glad that I'm not making cheese. Well, I sure am glad that I'm not making cheese, even though apparently that would be Apparently that was way faster. I sure am glad that I am not having to 
chill at the uh, Thermal Wonderland. That would be a very stressful chill. It's time for a really special edition of the Snack Zone. Okay, what is so terrifying about this fucking creek that everyone's monk W'ing? There's brain-eating amoebas? Wait, there's brain-eating amoebas in any water that's somewhat warm. It's not exclusive to, like, Kerosene Creek, right? And it's only if you put your head underwater, right? I know a lot about brain-eating amoebas. Because Cutie thought she had a brain-eating amoeba because she fell into a lake. And for like a month, she thought she was going to die. No, I'm very stressed out and I don't like this cheese. Yeah. There's no one here. It's only if it goes up There's your nose. No one here. I think you can even and drink it like and it doesn't matter. natural bath. If I lived here, I would be here every day. What gets? Okay, I'm gonna check where Adam and Ben are, but first it's time to be real. I think we're nearly done here. Yeah. Kerosene Creek. They're gonna beat us to Hookah Falls. We could potentially it's buy crazy they didn't know. We do want to slow them down as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Because we... We really want to get on the 1 p.m. ferry, but even more, we want to stop them from getting on the 1 p.m. ferry. Yeah. Because if both teams miss it, then we're just both on the 345. And it's still neck and neck, and we could still pull out a victory. Yeah. So remember that ferry we're talking about before? We're getting closer to it. This Quick same reminder, Amoeba's in Texas, the my dear. challenge first will earn a ticket on the 1 p.m. ferry tomorrow. The next team will have to wait until 345. But, and this is important, if neither team makes it in time to get on that 1 p.m. ferry, both teams will be on the 345. Because they're behind, Ben and Adam's strategy is pretty simple. They don't need to make the ferry, they just need to make sure we miss it, which means slowing us down any way they can. Yeah, I mean, I just, I can't think of that many curses that are gonna slow them down at Hookah Falls. That's true. Like, most of them yeah, involve, like, slowing down your movement, and you just don't right. have to move that much. I, mean, I think, I think that we should just make an attempt for the nerf. We should attempt to nerf them at Hoopa Falls. Yeah, we'll put on our disguises. We'll see how well that could work. Maybe they'll be gone by then. Yeah. But then we can just catch them at the next intersection. All right, that is 20 incredible minutes of relaxing in Kerosene Creek. And now we have to very frantically I love disguises. get our stuff and go, because we are behind again. Why are the brain-eating rivers open? I don't think it's very common. Like, I think it's, like, a big scare thing. But, like... Brain-eating amoeba death per year is probably low. There were 16 deaths in the U.S. There's been 154 people who have died in the past 40 years. So it's, like, pretty low, you know? It's like quicksand or like sharks in oceans. I think it's disguise time, my friend. Time to get our disguise. I'm not going to watch the Tom Scott video. I already know about the brain eating amoeba. Trust me, Cutie Googled everything there is to know about the brain eating amoeba, and I had to learn a lot about it. I had to convince her she didn't have it for like a whole month. It's my birthday. I got laid off. Excited for the stream. Ah, Olivia, sorry you got laid off. Good to know you're in an exciting job market that has a lot of hiring being happening. What the fuck? Hello. I, for one, am excited to utilize my androgynous features. Okay, we gotta run. Next stop, Hoka Falls. Coconuts have a higher kill rate than sharks, and sharks have a higher kill rate than brain-eating amoebas. I'm, I'm optimistic, but we gotta make sure we're, 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 I think we're ahead and have enough time without worrying about nerf, but only if we um, are efficient with our time. I've got gun fever, Adam. Yeah. I want to shoot. We're out here so really bottom lighting. We're embracing right. our, you know, feminine wives. Uh, and damn. Yeah, I am gonna shoot Sam in the eyeball. Damn. Well, if you want to see if these guys catch up to us at Hookah Falls, um, you can find out next Wednesday or.
if you're a Nimbus subscriber right now. That's because every single episode of Jetlag we post one week early and without ads on Nebula. Um, and we're even doing more than that this season uh, with what's called the layover. Now, live on the podcast, I'm going to attempt the Milk Pong Challenge. I have red solo cups and I have ping pong balls. It's a, it's a fucking miss, if I had to guess. New video, please. The video is over, unfortunately. No new episodes. Anyway, though, check out Jet Lag the Game if you guys want on Nebula. They uh, they uh, upload videos a week early, so one should be there right now. I do like the series. You guys like watching it, uh, usually, or at least you yell at me when I don't watch it. So if you want to give it some love, feel free. The Curtis Connor effect. Boom, boom. Like flag, one more flag. One more flag. I can't stand How the fuck she titled that radiant name? Ludlock tonight? I think it might be too late, chat. I hate starting Ludlock at midnight, but the good news is tomorrow I wasn't going to stream originally. I thought I was going to have to go downtown for a shoot all day. Turns out I don't have to do that anymore. Shoot's not happening. So I am free to stream all day now, which is pretty exciting. That's actually kind of pog. It's actually kind of champ. It's not midnight. Midnight Eastern, I should say. So I, I have a lot of time to stream it tomorrow. Um, I The the melee thing, honestly, was a bit of a... I don't want to call it a mistake because it actually was kind of cool at the end. But it definitely took over my day. I blame Exter. Uh, but it is my fault, not Exter's. Um, and that took a lot of uh, took a lot of time up. That that would have been, you know, our Ludlock time. So that's my bad on that. Um, dude, I had this Reddit post the other day. It was crazy on our subreddit. Someone was like, "Why isn't Ludwig disclosing that he's playing Ranktal as a sponsored advertisement?" And I was like, "What the fuck does this person think? Do they think they just know?" And then somebody was like, hey, it's actually not sponsored. And they were like, nah, it is. It is. I don't believe you. I was like, what? And so then I came in. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, listen, I'm not lock, knocking the hustle. Stuff like this is the bread of streamers. But I love examining new age marketing. Find it fascinating in this new age of certain distinction, like having to post hashtag ad on certain platforms. Uh, thoughts on ranked promos. I know Lud mainly through his melee involvement. More curious what the community's thoughts are on the ranked the ranked promos. And then someone was like, ah, he's not affiliated. And they were like, love how confidently wrong you are. And then they're like, I mean, I guess I called myself crazy for suggesting. And, th and then this is this is the one that, uh, why do you think Ludd is involved with Ranktal? I've seen it three times at the end of streams. It just seems deliberate. And then um, this person was like, you are crazy and not a regular viewer. He does a lot of other sponsored stuff. And then they're like, seems like a charitable interpretation. Um... I'm not swayed at all. This doesn't sway me. So then I got to get in there. I got to get in there. I got to get dirty on my subreddit. I, I, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm very wary that I get paid from sponsorships, but I understand that my value in pushing sponsorships, you guys, comes from being very forward about what those sponsors are, telling you exactly what they want from you, what makes me look good and what you can get from them. So if I ever ruin that, then it doesn't ruin it for one sponsor. It ruins it for all sponsors. If I were ever to deceive you on one sponsor, then every other sponsor I do is a little tainted. You know what I mean? Like if I was secretly pushing you some shit and then that, well, like what about anything else I do? Like I do so many vaguely small games, you know, like any of those games you might be like, is this sponsored? Is this when you'd be like fucking, you know, Stressed out. Anyway, let's play some ranked old. Uh, hashtag ad. <laughs> I just like ranked old. Ooh, I went right through that hole. I just think ranked old's fun. Oh, shit. Gotta be a Reyna insta lock. Oh, okay. She's a stinger. They did force... Watch out behind you guys. Ooh, shit. 
Oh, Harbors is better, bro. Nice! Bro, are you just staring at the TP? Yeah, because it opened, bro. It scared me. At least they're honest. Now, the biggest clue on the rank is not actually the ace from the Reyna. It's the guy who stared at the TP because the TP noise scared him, which has to be a silver or gold level amount of fear. I'm going to go silver, maybe gold level aim, but silver rank. Gold. Okay, fair. It was gold. Holy shit, Plat. Immortal. Fuck. Everyone's too surprised for immortal. Diamond. Plat. Okay. Give me, give me, uh, give me plat, diamond. Oh man, I should give people more credit. Okay, raise, nade out, Guda nado, boom bot out. Old clip. This is breeze. They removed this map. That got a kill. No way that gets another kill. What? Why would you wait to shoot? I... That's gimme bronze. That's solo level. Solo level. I gotta say. Great offensive satchels. That's a bronze. Yeah. Okay. It was a bronze. All right. Gimme chess. Gimme chess. Gimme chess. I'm a chess expert. All right, E4, E5, D4, D6. Okay, wait, this feels like a mistake here, right? Like right at this moment, trade off. Why not trade off? I know you can't. take because if takes takes ooh that was nasty give me 1300 If a 258 can play that good, then I can too. You're at 900. So this is my three minute rating. Like there's, I think it's called, is it blitz or bullet? It's blitz. I'm really bad at blitz chess. Oh. Fuck. 
how do they find such good moves? Dude, uh, they're not supposed to be this good. They're low rated. I don't get it. I still have a good move here. Unless he checks me. If I, I get checked, I'm fucked. Piece of shit. Son of a bitch. Fuck this. Son of a bitch. Boom! How you like them apples? Huh? No, he just takes. <sighs> Harvest Moon. No, stop. This is bullying. How are these people so good? Take it? Oh, good call. Oh, shit. Is the game glitched? What's going on? This is so weird. Alright, I'm gonna get a thousand rated. I'm gonna get a thousand rating. head capture this if captures here capture this with check then I get three pieces for two and he can't castle Wait, that was actually genius. I blocked him in.
What? This is GG, bro. Woo! Rematch? Any day of the week. That was easy pickings, buddy. No. Oh my god, that was almost such a misclick. What is he doing? Everybody super sonic racing. Back on the Super sonic racing. Guys are looking around. Super sonic racing. Aha! Everybody, 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 everybody. Oh, we're good. Don't you know we really have to go to a place Blunder. where you can feel my heart just rain. Come on. Super Sonic Racing. What's up? It's good. Just playing some chess. What's up with you? You're a little teapot. Um, I got home. I made it. All right. Glad you're home. Glad you made it. How long have we been streaming for? Like four hours? Five hours? Crazy. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> I love to hear that. Yeah. I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. Coots! Coots! Wine about a creator cutie. That is the one and only. <laughs> She's been chilling there. They seen her. They always want to see her. They always demand a seer. I don't think that's how it should operate. Hi, Coots. Hey, Coots. Coots is chefing up some ramen. She makes little snort sounds. You can't hear her. She's going. <laughs> she makes little snort. She makes little piggy noises. Uh, I don't think she likes being airborne. 
Well, she's scratching. She's Hello. Like, she literally actually doesn't care that she broke one. She doesn't care about much. She's scratching. She's chill with most in life. She's on the grass. She just likes eating a little food, licking some fingers. Everybody super sonic racing, trying to get the feet right on. Oh, I should have checked. I should have checked. Cats do follow you. You actually do have that superpower. Check. Whoa. That has to be a mistake. Everybody, everybody. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, you absolute buffoon. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Oh shit. Shit. I set you free. Follow me. Set me free. Wait, can I just take this? This, this, check. Yeah, fuck it. Hold up, hold up. My win con is not trading. Let's be smart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Danger is looking around every turn. Live and learn. Okay, I gotta think, 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 I gotta think. Set me free! He can't block this. I'm a little scared of this. Follow, follow me. Oh, what a nice discover check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go over one. Go over one. Go over one. Oh, man. I would have loved that. Dude, I am literally derby demolitioning this squad. Yo, this song got banned recently, so I can no longer play it, but we used to play it all the time. I miss it. I can't play it, though, because it's going to get the video copywritten. Don't you just have to go here now? Checkmate! What? Checkmate! What? Checkmate! No low dog tonight, chat. Sorry, we talked about it a bit earlier. doing? F 
fuck! How have I fucking done this? I cannot believe I've done this. Dummy? Wait, what is he doing? Hold up, he wants me to capture so Queen can capture. But instead of doing that... I take here. No, hold up. I take here. No, hold up. Yeah! 
Oh, 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 what a game. What a fucking game, dude. I had a hell of a move. Immediate blunder. I'm already down. I'm fucked up. Instant fucking L. They sack. I appreciated that. They sack again. I appreciated that. Overlooked an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. Uh, probably, um, uh, I you say, um, we could do perhaps something like this. Best was the queen takes? Because <gasps> the kill. Ah, uh, duh. Instead, I didn't do that. They take me. I take back. Whatever. I make this play. Oh, they could have forked the fucking balls off of me. They didn't. I appreciated that. I made a hell of a move. What? Oh, and then you move the king. Mm, but of course. The rook lift. Genius. Oh, so much smarter to go here. Wow, what a fucking clutch game, baby. All right, give me a couple more. Give me a couple more games, then I'm out of here. Okay, let me think, 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 let me think. I'm going to play the advanced Barnes opening. Honestly, I can't believe you didn't see that. I, I thought that I did the most obvious setup of all time. You are threatening to reveal a check. Threatening to reveal a check. Hmm? Uh. Is there a better way to recapture the piece? Huh? All right, all right, all right. We're closing in on a thousand. I need to win two more games. If I lose, I'm ending. Give me a thousand. Give me it back. Let me recapture what's mine. Scotch game. We taking everything? Wait. I think I push. Do I capture? I think I push. If I go back here, he can capture here, and then king captures, and then knight here maybe, and then fast queen.
We're doing really well. We're doing really well. Give me this. 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 What else you want to give me? Check this out. Check this out. This next one's going to be fucking brutal. Shit. Wait, how do I do this? Ah, uh, fuck. It doesn't exactly work. No, no, it doesn't exactly work. Let's take here. Let's take here. Let's... Fork. Let's take... Capture. Do I dare? I could throw this though. Fuck up, fuck. I gotta focus. I don't have a lot of time. He might go here, in which case I go here. Then he go he can't go back here. What a game. What a game I I demolished. I demolished this guy. 16 best moves. 16. That was a mistake? Uh, yeah, I think the issue is because if I take here, then they take here. No, fuck. Then they take... What do they do? They take here? Wait, how's that equal? Okay, for some reason it is. Okay. Mm. Mm. So well played. Mm. I'm sheeshing and pogging at myself. This isn't even game review. This is masturbatory. All right. All right. One more for a thousand. Chat. Last game. This is for a thousand. It's 
Scandinavian. I love when they play there. Give me an early bishop out. Let's get this guy up so we can push this. Let's do this. I don't mind. I'll trade. Get my knight out. Let's go here, maybe. Cringe. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god.
My next move was checkmate. Checkmate right there. Defended by the bishop. Rook checkmates. King cannot escape to this square because bang. Oh, man. I outplayed so hard. I should have pre-moved. I panicked. My end was so clutch. All right. Well, GG's, boys. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out tomorrow. I'll stream probably around like 4 p.m. And I'll do the load log for like five hours. See you guys then. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. One move away. What a setup, though. I have a killer vision. Slow, but killer. All right, goodbye, boys. Have a good rest of your day. I got to go get Coots. She's under my couch. So I got to deal with that. I hope you got to deal with whatever you deal with in life and enjoy it. And I'll see you all tomorrow if you show up. All right, peace. Coots. What are you doing? <laughs>